Really? Yeah, yeah, do that again. Do that again. Do the intro because we're live now. Do the intro. Shush. No, no, you did it, didn't it? <laughs> By the way, do you do that every time? I, I, I've asked you that, but you, but you didn't answer before. Do you do that every time or is that recording? It's recording. It's recording. Okay, because it sounds the same every time. Yeah. All so right. I did it during, uh, well, I was doing a, a recording for the Seabad show, which you should totally go check out if you haven't checked it out. Uh, it's just like fun watching movies and, and riffing on movies. And I did that once during the pre-show and it, we were still recording. We were already recording and uh, Dapper Dino clipped it and sent it to me. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, so anyways, uh, I don't know if you guys watched. Uh, Augie was nice enough to let me into his stream to confront Unirock because Unirock, of course, as we know, talks mad shit. And anybody thinks I'm afraid of Unirock is seriously mistaken. So um, he was putting out a lot of misinformation, misinformation, and I went in there to correct the record. Now, whether they believe that or not, that's the, that's their community. Uh, no fault to them. They, you got to remember, they don't know the whole history. They don't watch our stuff. Um, I, I'm not faulting them for anything. Um, They're very different com communities. Very different community. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong um, with that. You know, and, and Shannon, God bless her heart, was trying to moderate the best she could or at least kind of uh, get some yeah. semblance. I can't imagine that going well with her uh, her mic cutting in and out like it was. Well, her mic was cutting in and out because she has that type of mic or at least set up such that on Discord where if somebody talks and they're talking, it the it lowers the volume, right? It lowers the gain. So it was, oh, that's the okay. reason why. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, but anyways, you know, like I said, Augie let me on. Now, that community, again, I don't have any ties to that community, right? So if they don't understand what happened in the non-sequitur show, they don't think it was um, ethical for me to go take somebody who stole, you know, sixty thousand dollars from the fans, half of which was mine, uh, to court over that and and the channel and firing the producer bullinator here. Uh, okay, well that's fine. They don't have to. I I, I don't expect anybody to have the same. Uh, reasoning that I have, especially if they don't know the whole story. This has gone on for a year and a half now, right? There's been 49 motions filed. This is a big case. Uh, and you have somebody who's looking at felony charges, felony, that will be looking at felony charges for perjury, um, forgery, uh, submission of altered evidence. Uh, that's pretty significant. It was mentioned in Forbes.com by Peter Riley. Uh, and I know some news organizations are trying to pick it up. So, you know, it, it will be picked up. Um, if the commentators, you know, don't think it's something of concern, that's fine with me. I'm not, I, I don't care. Um, I just well, like, I, I like the fact they at least allow me to come on and say my piece and, and that's fine. Yeah, and it's cool of them to open up their platform like that. And, and keep in mind that they're literally having a conversation right now about whether or not a YouTuber should be suing another YouTuber and how that is is problematic and should not necessarily be the case because people are going around saying, oh, I'm gonna sue you for this. Oh, I'm gonna sue you for that. Oh, I'm gonna sue you. So if they don't have the information of the non sequitur show case, as again, it's, it's an entirely different little pocket right. in the internet, then it doesn't really make sense. Or like it, it makes sense that they would think that that is the same kind of case and so that their yeah, logic there exactly. is, makes complete sense yeah I, I, right? I, 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 I and i get that right they don't understand this was a breach of contract that we had we had a business arrangement i mean how is it any different from like toddy's arrangement with halo and things of that nature you have a business arrangement we had a business arrangement which we had a contract that we we told and went to the north carolina chief justice to get it get it done in mandatory complex business court as a business we had to, to jump through hoodles uh, hurdles hoodles, uh, hurdles to get that done it cost a lot of money it cost like a thousand bucks to get that um and but we had to, to get that done initially um and that's when you have somebody that steals from you right if you have somebody that takes money from you and you want justice where else do you go but the court system isn't that what the court system's for for civil court now again um and by the way uh, there are certain trolls that I, that are not allowed to come on i know who they are and i will block yes. them at will we had to, to so, jump through um oh gotcha yeah also also like it's like it's about setting the record straight also isn't it well because the narrative that was going out was kyle was somehow the owner of the cha channel for some reason and he right. was in his right he was within his rights to you know let you go which we found out was which a lie, wasn't correct? the truth correct yeah, yes. which wasn't the truth. And there's only one way to set the record straight completely is to go through codes and get a judgment because you can say anything on internet. We have seen in these last few days, you can say anything and you can almost get away with it unless like Tati did come back and prove your point through the codes. So that was also essential. I think so. That's why. 
And um, mm. there were some people who were like, why don't you go and make a new channel? It's a valid point, but to a certain extent. When you have a channel like philosophy that's based on philosophy and, you know, debates and discussions it's not easy to build a channel from scratch well, it's not that's such it, a that's, channel that's because not it, let me let me i need to interrupt you but that's not okay. it because he didn't let me actually explain anything because I, I, obviously i wasn't getting any real ability to explain anything you weren't going to get any form. traction yeah, right I, I understand what i'm getting myself in for i'm not an idiot but here's the thing had i started another channel with kyle quote copyright shit how oh, yes he would have struck that channel repeatedly yeah there's there there were a little bit so it's a little bit more complicated than just going to start your own yeah, channel. It's, it's not, it's there's not exactly, branding yeah, involved. Right. There's guest lists involved. There's, uh, there's the, audience. The, the accusation the that audience. I stole his show. Right. There's, the there's the narrative that will, that will go along with it. There's going to be the detracting issue of people actively attempting to basically sabotage the show because we know, and, and I, I use the word sabotage purposefully, uh, not, and not lightly. It is a matter of we, given the people that stalk Steve around, we know that those people, and we know given the way Kyle behaved with Ben, that he is not beyond threatening people. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, Steve. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So like yeah. there's there's like such a such a big history and and such a it's it's such a complicated issue that on its face it sounds fucking ridiculous. On its face it sounds like the most arbitrary drama ridden bullshit that should not be happening because and it's such to to just have like the snippets of it thrown at you in that kind of a, a situation in that kind of scenario yeah no of course they're going to come to that conclusion because that's the that's the what makes the most sense what makes the most sense is that somebody should have just gone and made another channel and taken it in the direction that they wanted to take it and that person should have been kyle <laughs> kyle right right yes. exactly yeah and also somebody should have been paid for a year's worth of work a year, a year and a half right. of work. Um, yeah, exactly. Which he didn't. He, that, never, and, he didn't pay yeah. me, and he, and he fired the producer, which of course we didn't even get into because. Yeah. You know, but that, that's also, fine. You know. they they also brought up a point like um, that you are not going to get anything out of it. I think so. What they, I think so. You would have clarified to them that you can. There are ways to recover costs. Yes, there are right? absolutely ways of recovering. Yes, ways. absolutely. We're looking into multiple different yeah. things, none of which Kyle's going to like. Um, but yeah, they, I, I see again. How, you can't pontificate on a case where you've never read anything about it, nor do you understand yeah. the the intricacies yeah. involved. Uh, and so, I mean, again, what are you going to do? You go on a, you, you go well, on a platform. You know what you're getting yourself into. No, yeah. I, no beef with them at all. Yeah, Zero. and I think so. That's what Jason I mean, what does. Said, he takes... It sounds like what they were saying makes complete sense to me. Yeah, well, but like especially the information. But here's here's yeah. the thing. You know what the whole goal was again? Because I'm not looking to get anything from that audience. They're not the audience that, that, that's going to probably like our content. But well, it did. You. It, <laughs> oh, you're Steve. not exactly Have you're, you're not, you're, you're not exactly on. the most biggest popularity on Twitter now either. So um, fight me, uh, fight me, IRL. So. <laughs> What it did show was somebody like Unirock who didn't even understand in order to have something like breach of contract, you have to have a contract. You gotta have a contract. Yeah. If he doesn't understand something as simple as that, after admitting he knows something about the law, why would anybody go to him for any kind of information? He clearly doesn't have any understanding of any of these things. And that was my point. What they think of me is absolutely irrelevant. Not a single person from that group that didn't already know me is gonna come onto my channel to watch anything that we do. That wasn't the goal. The goal was to point no, out that Unirock has no understanding of these things. And that's all I wanted to do. And I accomplished that. You know who I see in the chat that I haven't seen around in a really long time? I see Red Eye. Yeah, oh, wow. I, I see Eye. that, yeah. Well, that's because he's actually awake right now. Yeah, it's- Oh, good point. That's, uh, fair. I don't know, like 11 his time or something. Yeah, yeah. there's, there's a, I, it's kind of interesting sometimes to see the like if you just explain the, the bare bones minimum of the situation and see the way people react to it it's hilarious and like, they're <laughs> not wrong <laughs> yeah yeah based on the yeah the amount of information they had it's not it's not a bad reaction actually oh, well, 10 out of 10. yeah exactly 10 but you also have like a million people in there and you you listen to uni uni bird dogs right he'll sit there and he'll just not let you get a complete answer out yeah to try, he, he to, try interrupts. to interrupt you right yeah yeah he uh, yeah he and he does that especially when he sees that he's about to be smacked down oh, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah he, he ups that up quite a bit right 
Yeah. yeah. You, you, you see what he does, and I, I think Shannon did a good job of, of calling him out when he tried to do it. And oh, so yeah, she did. Is that yeah. um, he was trying to uh, be like, oh, well, no. And she's like, I just repeated to you what you said. I haven't even gotten to my point yet. And you're already saying no. <laughs> it, am I high? Is that not what you said? And it's like, no, he's gaslighting you. That's yeah, exactly. exactly what you Which said. is the point we keep yeah. making. And, and he did that repeatedly. Uh, right away, he says, wait for the judge to do his thing. Then we fucking party. And by the way, there's a couple things. Okay. That the, there's a couple things that he, he, he that the judge needs to do. And um, I do have some party goals. Uh, I have premises made to be by certain people, which I will collect on. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> you're not one of them. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Is about a, Let the joke is grow about on. a different thing that she owes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gonna be, the, be uh, a dance. Yeah, the, yeah she got to do the whole Bali dance thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like I said, so I mean, I just wanted to go um, give, you know, a summary of uh, the fact that, uh, you know, I... I don't hang out with any of that group, right? They're not my my, my circles, <laughs> and so I, I know a lot of people. Sue's trying to try and sit at the cool kids table. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's quite all right. Uh, like I said, nothing against them at all. Uh, it's just not my. Oh, cup it's of so tea. funny. Um, but mad props for them letting me on, and uh, they do their thing, yeah. right? The doggy made some money off of it. He got some entertainment out of it. That's your stick, and I can't. They did a good job. Can't fault him for that. Out. Can't fault them for that at they all. They did actually. Yeah. I'm I'm yeah. very impressed with that. Um, and they, like it was so funny when they repeated a whole sentence to Jason, and he still couldn't comprehend I it. I don't understand the one about the contract, the breach of contract. They repeated it to him. That's twice. the game he plays. And by the way, somebody could use that in their videos for our side. I mean, uh, and by the way, Kendra is Kendra is in the live chat. Kendra, you're amazing. Tiny dancer. Hey. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I've been trying to help her channel out too, because you know I like helping channels out. Um, yes, but, I uh, think that I think that Steve could make an interesting resource for th some of those people. I think the some of the people that we talk to and have and have on regular uh, regularly would be valuable to them, like like and their channels in that like you can get a professional take on whatever drama you're talking about, particularly if you're talking about something that's law-related. Are you saying that I'm pretty good at what I do? I actually can do pretty well when I'm not being bird-dogged? I, I think that you could be a valuable resource to them if they decide to be clever about what they're doing. How, they, how, they use, how would they, you'd use me? Well, yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a mutual it's a, it's yeah. a there well, yeah. hey. there's a very good mutual benefit that I think can come Look. from everybody involved here, and it it also trolls the hell out of Uni, and I think that's fine. Well, and, 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 and here's the thing: it's yeah. the funniest part. I I did kind of take a playbook from Uni tonight. Um, fourteen hundred people now know what the, they at least heard of the non sequitur show. They can hate me, but when it comes back, they're at least going to be like, "What the hell is this all about?" You know, a couple of them might. Um, it's not about there's, this channel, right? But uh, yeah. Uh, well, so. I mean, there's there's also like the playlist, and then there's the the um, entry fee lines run over on uh, Answers and Reason. They might, and then my reading of it might might help them out because it's like a <coughs> well, brief at, summary. Yeah, and at least people do know that Union Rock is trying to use these content creators for views. Something I'm not trying to to do but right, they know that's what is. i'm saying right i'm saying that they could use yeah. you yeah a lot more than you're going to get out of them because like like even if you were trying to use them one you're bad at that um, and two i really <laughs> am no i know my limitations i'm, I'm totally cool with that reason. you're bad at that they um might, tina and then my rating of it if you want to get yeah it might help them out because it's like a, a <coughs> well, brief uh, summary yeah, definitely get her in here people do um i think yes. there's a, uh, but there's there's a benefit to I'm like the resources that you can provide to them to make their content like that extra step further give it that additional edge them. of because like, like, like of a little bit not necessarily professionalism because like, that's not what I mean um, I, I'm getting an echo and I don't know what it's from I'm not hearing it no I know it's not I'm trying to avoid it because it's like a 
Oh, no, you should just uh, It can be heard anywhere. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. We got a pro. Be on their channel. Yeah. Yeah. channel. Yeah. Um, she had one job. But I, I think that, like, just like given that, edge, that, that additional edge of, of, edge of confidence of knowing what you're talking about and how to necessarily professionally phrase things. So when it comes to. I don't know where it's from. I'll wait. Oh, I got it. Okay, I fixed it. Okay, um, so if you if you have something like oh you're talking about legal stuff, uh, the number of people that we have access to that might have that legal information, it means you can be a little bit more calm, uh, confident about what you're presenting and how you're presenting it. So if you say like, well, I think the law is this, but I'm not sure. Instead, you can say, I talked to an expert. This is what it says. It's going to sound better in your in your debunk video or in your presentation video than the other, and th and it's only just to help them out that's not really going to do anything for any of us but hey i mean there's nothing wrong with being friendly and taking advantage of steve's resources yeah yeah he has things you can provide especially well, like in the I said, they, they have no idea of my contacts right i mean i i know a lot bigger channels than any of them have <laughs> so well that's not that's not relevant. I mean, it doesn't really matter how big the channels are. What I'm talking about is resources for information. To, yes. Yeah. Right? Jason is not a resource. No. He's he he doesn't study what he's he doesn't study the subjects oh. he's talking about. Um, he doesn't even look into the paperwork himself. He lets he he goes by hearsay. So that's why he gets he's a your resource. Talk. He's a resource for comedy. That's what he's a resource. Hey. Yeah. If you want to if you want to like bring him on and laugh, have a laugh, then yeah, yeah. He's yeah, good well, at trolling. Well, like I said, he, he makes things up, and he likes to troll. Um, he does it for views. Yeah. That's all I wanted to get out. That's it. I, I didn't care about anything else, and I, and I did that. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I think so. it's uh, it, it's also good that um, Creepshow Art kind of um, gave him a pushback, um, she asking was funny. him how he could support how how he could support someone like you know KJ. So that was good, and he he did not have an answer for that. He was just trying to deflect all the time. Yeah, well, I mean, he, does, he, he, plays that, he plays that stupid game. I mean, he isn't very intelligent, but he also is like, oh, what, 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 can you ask me that question again? That's bird dogging. He just basically wants people to play his little game, and I think most people can see that. The ones that can't, what are you going to do? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, I can't be everybody's freaking savior. I can't sit there and point every time out Uni Rock does something despicable and dishonest. But he did get everything wrong with the, yeah. the non sequitur showcase. You know? Who's got the time? Right? Yeah, man. But you know, if so, I were to break down one singular Uni Rock video, so let's let's take a shorter one. Let's say it's like a four hour one instead of an eight hour one. And I was to break down mm -hmm. every single thing he got wrong, why he got it wrong, and like what he's doing and why he's doing it, it would probably be a ten hour video. Yeah. Oh yeah. I tried it once and I went nuts. Like yeah, if you remember. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a, it would be a lot of work. That was like a three-hour video that I and and I had to cut out a lot of parts where he just puts in bullshit music and just repeats stuff again and again. So yeah, it's yeah, it's a big project if you have to and yeah, be ready to lose some brain cells. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's his thing, right? He comes in, he he comes in sideways into communities which are new to him, and then he tries to push in a narrative and get the subs out of there and right. that's what he was trying to do with of course he was. Yeah, and, he was uh, trying, yeah. there's a lot of word salad he was trying to be incredibly dismissive and gaslighting um and detracting towards shannon and just completely ignore everything she was saying when what she was saying was very valid actually and meanwhile yeah. the whole time being like okay so yeah i think we're just disagreeing or misunderstanding this thing and then he would just completely and it was he just didn't he just didn't. Yeah, he doesn't but, acknowledge the points the other person well, makes. Yeah, she, he does not do that. He the crap out of him, and he was just be like, but you didn't really hit me, though. But here's the thing. <laughs> you, 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 uh, this is second nature. During tag, and is like, I didn't get, or during dodgeball, who gets hit, who's like, I didn't get hit. <laughs> but this is second nature to us, right? We can easily spot these things, right? I mean, it's 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 literally to the point where it's just I was memory, impressed with re, muscle reflex at this point, muscle memory. But to the, oh, live, yeah. to the live chat that did watch that, could they now pick up everything about what we said about Union Rock and how he does these techniques and how he uses these types of manipulations in order to run that type of LARPing thing where he's just like, oh, I, I don't know what you're saying. Maybe I'm not using words correctly. Maybe I don't mean it like this. It's all an act. It's Wait. funny. It's, it's funny how he claims I that he's not a competent. Hi, Tina. How are you? 
Hey everybody, Hi, how Tina. are you? Uh, by the way, you're, Tina's I'm not, not me. Either. I'm not Tina. I know it's weird, um, but we're not the same person. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know if Uni Rock knows that though. I don't. I don't know if Uni Rock knows anything. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's funny. Like, yeah, Jason. He 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 admitted tonight. Creepshow and Steve did a very good job of making him admit that he's not a competent lawyer, or he's not even a competent person who understands law. Correct. But he's the one ignoring the judgment given by the courts and demanding evidence from you. And I'm like, do you hear yourself, mate? Like, you, you, you're not a competent person who understands law. You don't try to understand law. You, you don't read the court papers. You go by hearsay. And then you, you think you have the you have the right to make accusations or demands from people who are involved. Well, and that's what I thought was funny. I, I really did think it was funny that people were saying about, like, because like, I was telling the entire truth the entire time, right? I mean, my lawyer has told me these things. My lawyer will come on. I told Jess yeah. when, when, when Scott said, yeah, I'll come on to be interviewed about the case after it's over. Um, and for some reason, they don't even give me principal charity, which is the difference between like yeah. these types of channels, my channel, uh, Cheshire's channel. Well, why, the thing you know, is, is I'll like, give principal charity. The thing is, is they don't they don't know you from bunk, right? And the person they were just talking to is fucking Uni Rock. Fair enough. Yeah, and, I, I get, yeah, I get been, that. And, and you've been entangled with Uni. You've been entangled with um, Leslie Bass. You've been entangled with Katie. Um, you're in your own lawsuit over some. I just YouTube get around, shit. man. Yeah, I don't blame them for thinking that of you and making those assumptions Fair because enough. they they don't again like I said they don't know you from bunk. It makes com their and, reaction to you makes yeah. complete sense. Oh to yeah, me. no, no, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with that by any stretch of imagination. Yeah. That's why that, that's like I and, said I I had fun. Um, no ill will whatsoever. Uh, I know people were messaging me. Are you are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that was great. I yeah, mean, that was me. I was asking you. Oh, you're not, you're right. not the only one. You're not I the only one. Too, not, yeah. I did too. I wasn't going to call out names, but. I wasn't gonna call oh anybody god. out. Sherelle, <laughs> so, yeah, Sherelle also. Oh my god, Steve, are you okay? Um, did the, did oh, the boomer fall and hurt himself? <laughs> oh no. I fall and I can't get up. Um, by the way, no. Kind of life uh, alert. Uh, these glasses are not, however, I do have glasses that are on order, prescription glasses. Uh, they oh, take about finally. three and four weeks, so it's been about three weeks. So I do have them on order. Is that the one with the missing lens? Yes, but I've got I've ordered new glasses. I got oh. the I've got these. I have two lenses, but these are reading glasses. So I only wear these oh. when I have my contacts on. Right? What style did you get? They're very, the ones I got are very similar to these. Yeah. I, um, I, I would, but give it to Augie. He brought up a very good point. He's he he. He asked Jason, he's like, you give charity to all these people like Katie and Kyle, but apparently for some reason, Steve does not deserve an aura of charity from you. Well, they didn't give me charity either, so... <laughs> but whatever. Sorry? Yeah, but that's, that's diff this, this is a different situation. Yeah, no, he's saying, right, because they're not giving charity to Unirock or you, right? They're being consistent. But you, and Unirock Whereas... even said he's, he's relying on what other people not. told him. He's like, well, they, you know, I'm like, where's your evidence? Why heard from this? I'm sorry, you but rocked. that's bullshit. He doesn't do he doesn't do evidence. He doesn't look anything no. up. He goes on yep. Periscope and he listens to the people on Periscope tell him shit. He doesn't fact check it. He doesn't nothing. We I I have a group full of fucking evidence. He's never asked to see it. Nope. He doesn't want to see it. He doesn't care. And he got he and he totally gets the group wrong. Once again, for the people in the back row, and Tina, if I if I'm not in, or if I'm correct incorrect in this, by all means, let me know. But this is my remembrance of exactly the chronology that happened. That group that you have on Facebook was started by Ashley Simon. I don't remember her real name that she goes by by, but she's in um, Sixteen and Pregnant, I believe the show is one of the Team Mom correct. shows. Okay, correct. I got that right. I would have never got that right last year. All right, um, so Ashley Simon, who I've oh talked- Oh my God, proof that Steve has been watching these shows the whole time, Ree, he's a liar. <laughs> no, Tina, Tina's a fan of, I don't know, she knows that I know nothing about those shows. Um, all right, so Ashley Simon started that group. About 24 hours later, give or take, she just absconded and she left the group without an admin. You can go into Facebook and you can actually find a group that has no admin and says, make me an admin. I made myself an admin. Oh, okay? oh wow. Ashley did not give me that group. Contrary to what? Yeah, that's not how that works. Yeah, so Unirock was wrong <laughs> about that. You know, facts matter, right? Um, once Surprise, I took over the group, I gave, I gave, 
uh, Tina mods, and we gave some other people the mods, like Joe, who yeah. Uh, yeah. tried to boot Tina from the group. And then yeah. well, she, she didn't. She didn't try. Oh, to. she did. She, she booted you. She, did. Yeah. she, she booted from the group. Stole the fucking yeah. group. Yeah. From yeah. me, and I manipulated her into giving it back to me, which I know pissed her off because. <laughs> and then she you lied know, it about that. She absolutely lied about. No, oh, I I didn't kick her out. It was an accident. I I kicked her out on an accident. No possible way. You have to go through like five steps to kick Do somebody people not, out. Right. I mean, I, I mod in many Facebook groups. I have the Great Debate community in Facebook groups. You just don't accidentally remove a member. She did it because she was pissed at you. And, you know, I mean, it's still on your uh, Facebook, your guys' fight. So people could go find where Joe flipped, oh, where yeah. she like, you know. Okay, so completely so turn into. I, so, so you got back to the group, and we were both co-admin. Um, I mm -hmm. gave you the group fully. I left mm -hmm. the group, and that was back in June, sometime. Yes, I sent you a picture today. I looked it yeah. up today. I have. She, she looked it up today to find out when it was, and I, remember, I think it was June when I saw. I have not been in that group. I don't have an alt in that group. I don't know what goes on in that group. I can just tell you that when I was in it, it was never a troll group. Absolutely not. Not even remotely so. Matter of fact, Tina made sure that anything that's put in the group, like I do with the Great Debate community, is based upon fact. Right? Unless you're running an opinion argument. Explaining that right? to somebody today. Yeah. Yeah. But but basically okay. it's out of Katie's mouth. Whatever Katie says uh out of her mouth or whatever she types in a tweet or whatever on social media, we either record it or get screenshots. And because Katie tweets and deletes so much, we have yeah. the evidence of all these things that she's talking about right now. The narrative she's running right now, I have the evidence that she's lying. I have the full videos that she's deleted. And I'm going to tell you what, after tonight, it's coming out. It's all fucking coming out. And she's not going to be able to hide behind this narrative anymore. All right, so, 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 think, so let's I get this on record. I think Tommy will appreciate it, too. Let's get this on record. Two things I want to get on record. One, uh, Tina, am I in that group or have I been in that group since June? Absolutely no. not. Okay. I'm in there. I know that you're not in there. Absolutely not. And so, so Uni Rock is lying about that. I, have, I don't have... Oh, yeah. I, I'm, Uni I doesn't am, know what's going on in the group because I found his trolls and kicked them out. Well, there you go. Yeah, like, Gino but, is really good at that. Thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. When he doesn't know what's going on, he absolutely makes up stuff. Now, you're... Yes. You're going to start some... I agree. Some, I agree, Tiny Dancer. Tina is a queen. <laughs> Tina, you're, you're, you're going to make some kind of video or, or channel or what are you going to do? I actually am going to launch the Without a Freaking Clue YouTube channel tomorrow. So, I, do I will be using that to show nice. evidence um, that we have in the group. Like, I'm going to, I'll do full you know, videos. Like I'll show the full the videos. Evidence First, and play the screenshots as they're going on and as they're happening and catch all up and then go from there. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. No, well, I and the first too. plan is, is Cheshire and I are going to get together on her channel and we're going to go over the pride flag video, the Instagram live that Katie did and deleted. I have the ab absolute full video. And we're going to go over that and do commentary with it and let everybody see it because that has been, that's one of the things that I've really um, latched on to. I found some other evidence yeah. just a few days ago that goes along with it. So, yeah. Yeah, because that's a little bit more egregious than some of the things that she's done. Um, right. There's a, uh, I actually am um, also planning with Manya and Tina, you're uh, also, of course, welcome to join if you would like. We're setting up a time to go over that apology video. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Yeah, which I need do to that. download that right now before she listens to it and deletes it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to I'm actually, downloading it right now. If oh, cool. you guys are cool with this, what I'll do is I'll find the last apology video she did that sounded almost the same. Yeah. And we can play <laughs> that as good. well. We'll do it again. Oh, that will be great. She probably had a script for that one and just like reused it for this one, added a couple different names. Oh, Gary. <laughs> yes, please. It's the same thing. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> I'm sorry about them. <laughs> oh. It's insane. You know what? I was thinking that she was having a mental breakdown and I was ready to just walk away. 
let it be like, you know, she yeah. got the lawsuit. She's not doing good. And then what'd she have to do? Her ego had to show up and she had to go live and um, blame all of her problems on me and my group. And, and Steve. Steve. Well, I, I'm like, I have insane. nothing to do with any of this. This is the freaking weirdest thing that I've ever seen. I absolutely, I, I talk to Tina on Facebook occasionally, but we're friends. But Steve has a really bad Tommy Westbrook sure as fuck don't know who you are. No, right? no, not at all. Well, and here's my thing. I've asked, and hopefully Steve's okay with me saying this, I've asked Steve to stay out of the KD stuff. She has. Because oh, yeah. what it does is it, I have. it, Muddies the it gives KD a, a way of playing the narrative, you know, that Steve sexually harassed her and he's a horrible person and she got a restraining order against him and... um. I don't. I, I, I didn't want that. I just right. wanted to focus him to focus on his lawsuit and me to focus on what I was going to figure keep, out to do to I get keep, this information out. I keep my promises, yeah. Tina, and uh, I, I again, I have not lied about anything. Everything I say will or can be or will be uh, substantiated at some time. I literally can do commentary on anybody that I want. This is a fact. Okay, Who this is, is not my opinion. This is a fact. However, I was asked not to, not just by Tina, by the way, but by Cheshire, by Reds, and by other people. Yeah, and we I, are all like, bro. <laughs> I, and I've kept that promise. Yeah, I've kept no, that he's promise. Done, he's, done a, he's done an exception. I even went to Tina job. the other day, and I said, dude, I, 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 I and she's like, don't, just don't, just, just don't. <laughs> Right. Let, um, let somebody because I trust Tina. Tina. Tina's advice is is pretty good. Um, um, ninety some odd percent of the time, right? Um, ninety five. Ninety five percent of the time. I don't think I've given you bad advice. I don't, I don't actually. Think you have either. But but I mean, the point being is that I'm respecting that. I'm taking one for the team. I'm respecting the community. The staying the hell out of that side of the, the, the thing, and I'm doing my own thing with Kyle because I'm telling you what now. Uh, my I know what my goals are, and right now my goals uh, is to see Kyle in prison. I made that very clear. You know, one of the funniest things is that is watching the trolls over and over and be like, why can't you talk about Steve? He, or why, why won't he talk about Katie? He won't talk about Katie. Why won't he talk about Katie? They have this, they have that, they have this. Literally, little do they know that we all have known this the whole time, that we were like, Steve, just drop it for now. We'll they take care of it. They won't let me. By the way, <laughs> it has nothing to do Steve, with it's not just anything. you guys. It is another person just, in my just, life. Just for- just to prove yeah. a point, Steve, what? real quick, say Katie Joy Pulse. Oh, I can say Katie's name. A- absolutely. I can do any. I can re- do anything commentary wise. Oh, wise. Lord, the internet I've just said that from, from ages ago. That's nothing. There's nothing. Just there's say nothing it. Come, I just did. Katie no, Joy. Just say Katie. Katie Joy. I could do commentary on Katie Joy Pulse and, or anybody that I wish to do commentary there about. There you go. Yeah. That's, a fact. Internet, That's a fact. Broken internet, broken internet. I mean, this, that is an absolute <laughs> fact. I don't know why people don't understand this. I would not say something that Just wasn't that true. Okay, do you, you think I'm that stupid? You have practiced not to care. You have been advised and you have decided not well, to it's, care it's not, about it's, it anymore. It's not just been you guys. It's somebody else in my life that is of utmost importance to me that has threatened me with certain depriving me of certain things. <laughs> That's what oh, I'm saying. No, no, you have been advised, and you have taken that advice, and you have dropped it. Okay, I'm not an idiot. Okay, I'm not an idiot. But uh, let's, yeah, leave, let's leave it at that. If, you would be if you ignored that particular person. I'm not going to piss that particular person off. Woe to oh, me oh. who d- ever doubts God King Steve. <laughs> oh, watch watch now. Yeah, and, and, wait, 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 and just, trolls. One sec, one sec. Uh, God has never pointed yeah. out. He says, quote, you don't need to talk about KJ. There are dozens of channels covering her. Yeah. yeah. And, that's, what I told, that, yeah. and, and that's the point. I told Tina, look, like, if I do any commentary on her, what good is it going to do? It, it, look, I don't, they don't need me to throw in on that. Yep. Um, it's not, it's not going to help anybody. It's just going to provide more of a narrative for Unirock. Um, no. So I, I've just avoided that topic altogether to do any commentary on her. One, and, and that's the fact. Much, that's the truth. Pretty much they haven't talked about the group since then, since you mm-hmm. left. Which has yeah. been great. And like yeah. I said, I yeah. was going to give give Katie some grace because I thought she was losing her flipping mind. And I was oh. going to be done until she went on and accused me of being this horrible person that I'm not. Yeah. But let me ask she, you this. She doxed her own husband's workplace. Tina, she did. Uh, and that's former workplace. Out. 
She, she did. She, I have all the screenshots. Okay, and she blames other people for it. She tweeted out her husband's former employer's name and et cetera, et cetera, complaining about that employer in the process. We've got screenshots. So that's what she does. She will tweet out something, then realize, oh, shit, what did I do? Delete it and then blame someone else for that information right. getting so, out. Tina, let me, ask, let me ask you out. this. Let me ask you this. My, I have a really strong history, of, since, especially since the non sequitur show broke up, of actually backing up my shit, right? I've always been able to substantiate everything I say. Why is it, as a whole, there are certain people on that side of the community that never give me the benefit of the doubt, that never say, hey, maybe Steve's actually telling the truth here, because I've always panned out and shown that my, my, what I've said is the truth. Why would somebody want to accuse me of lying when they know my history of actually showing the evidence. I, I don't understand what good is that because all it does eventually, sure, in the short term, they're like, oh, look at Steve, character Steve, assassinate, going after it. But in the long why? term, it, it doesn't really help them. Because you don't want to be their friend. That's, that's why. That's probably true. Uh, Senpai, notice me. <laughs> Moon says for five dollars. Ah, love you, Steve, and Chess, Manya, Tina, mostly Aww. Bull. Yes, I love Bull. We all love Bull. Yeah. So, right? Bull's best boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I'm not gonna tell I can tell you right now there's much bigger issues and legal things going on that yeah. I'm not a part of <laughs> than the, the, And you know why we were that yeah, you know why we were all quiet like about KJ all this time, excluding Steve, everyone else, because we were like we were being empathetic with her actually. You know, like she's got a lot on her plate right now, she's got a five million lawsuit to worry about. Yeah. And well, then she decides that. to drag us all in there, and I'm like, okay, girl, you want to so, start this again? Okay, let's do it. Right. And if I may, if I may finish yeah, this, yeah, yeah. then I'll let you. Sure. So she can't make up her mind, because till last week, it was that click cra crowd that included Creepshow Art and um, Nick Snyder. Is it Nick? I, the viewer's the viewer's voice, that's, that's the channel. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Augie FC and all that, uh, BX Beast Boy and all that, and um, it was that it was that crowd that was responsible for all her woes. But now suddenly she has switched to another group, blaming them for all her woes. Can she decide? You know, which one is it? Please. She can't. <laughs> and she she thinks, can't. She and can't. she thinks that people. Sorry, Tina. Continue. Sorry. No, she she can't. She can't. She literally like I've worked with people in recovery. You know, I've had sponsees and there's some people that are incapable of being honest with themselves. And I really, truly believe that she cannot be honest with herself. She cannot realize that she's the common denominator in all right. of this. Right. You know so, so, I mean? so let me exactly. ask you this. Exactly. You see, here's, here, here, remember what I told you guys before. Union Rock is always going to be about himself. He will throw anybody under the bus if it's going to help him. He just has to wait to the right time, right? He has no loyalty to anybody. And the way he does it is he tries to be the, the hero of the situation. It's like, oh, well, <laughs> after, you know, a, after I found out the truth the and I changed my like position, isn't that what we're supposed to do? We get more information and we change our position. It's so dishonest an approach because he's been lying from the beginning on everything. You can't, you can't just then go, oh, I've been lying all this time. But now it's starting to backfire on me. I'm now going to do a 180, and I'll you know shit on somebody else. Um, it's it's you, like I, I've known people who have uh, this hero complex that they complex. want to be the savior of a situation. That they want to be the hero, and they want to like reap the the benefits of being that hero. Um, you know, like good things happen to you, you get the girl, blah, 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 blah. It's like really bad media <laughs> pushing stuff that gets into people's heads and it's, it's awful. Um, but you, you, you rarely do you see it to such a degree that you, you, you become the villain of the story because you're pushing so hard to get that heroic ending that you want. Right, and so it, it tends to have a really biased leaning, and it has a it has a biased leaning for two reasons: one, damsel in distress; two, the people that are against that damsel are literal villains in your mind, yeah. and so you do whatever it takes to save that damsel, to be that hero, and take down those villains, these people who are no longer people anymore. They're just the bad guy. Right. Yeah. And by the way, I will I will go on record um, so people know uh, so when it comes to the law. 
Um, saying whether you have an NDA or not is not a breach of an NDA. Just well, let yeah, you know. Be... Yeah, um, uh, it doesn't <laughs> work what? that way. Right. I mean, I, I suppose you could actually have it in an NDA. Where I don't know why you would, but I guess you theoretically I have an could. NDA that says I can't say NDA. I, I, okay. I don't know why you would, but I guess it's possible. But the, the fact remains, I mean, there's, there's reasons that's why, why I'm not, but, but hang on, there's reasons, there's reasons why very specifically, which will come to light one day, why I am very resonant to be talking about certain things that even Cheshire and Bullinator don't know about. Why? Because I don't want them to go, you know, talk about stuff that they don't know anything about. When, when, when they say, you know, what's, what's Steve's plan? He hasn't told me. That's a gone honest fucking truth. Mm -hmm. Not that I yep. don't trust yeah. them. I love them to death. They're my brothers and sisters in arms kind of thing. But I have my reasons. And you know what friends do? They trust Cheshire you enough. The brother. Brother and sisters in arms. She's called it. <laughs> missed the sister part. I'm joking. Um, uh, <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sorry. But, sorry. Uh, continue. But, but I want people to recognize that. this I will be able to explain this one day. Okay. I just like I will with, did with the non sequitur show. That's it. That's, that's what was I, I trying to say? What? That's what with that's wait, what wait, with wait, Jason is. Wait, 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 Mania, Mania, stop for a second. What was Bull trying to say? Oh, okay. Really? Oh, I was. I forget. It's not important. Oh, all right. Oh, I don't know why it's so hard for people to understand because they don't want to understand, right? They don't want to think well, for themselves because... that, hey, look. I can tell you the answer. Go ahead. No, they can think for themselves. They're just biased towards you. That's. Well, I was going to say an NDA is typically used to stop people from talking about. Like when it comes to business in a job situation, well, like let me ask you this, Dave. About how you do what it is you do. <laughs> for example, I could talk about what I did, but I can't tell you how well, we fucking tried to do. Well, it. Let, me, let me ask you two questions, and uh, again, legal questions, because Union Rock doesn't have a sound legal mind by any stretch of imagination. One, if he was told there was an NDA, somebody had to tell him that, correct? Yeah. So yeah. if telling somebody if there's an NDA or not. Would, that would automatically be a breach if that was the case, would it not? Logic? Right. If you're following so, so either A, that so, was a breach, or B, that's not a breach. You know, that you could talk about that. So it's one or the other. Okay. Right. Yeah. You, okay. Can't, you can't know about and say, well, he's not supposed to talk because of an NDA. Correct. If the NDA specifically expressly forbids the people who signed the NDA from talking about the NDA. But, but he knows about no, it, so that probably is, if, the, if that was the case, right, do some logic here, if that was the case, then somebody broke an NDA, or B, that's somebody not a stip, that, yeah, or, or B, that's, that's not, not the case. Yes. Either right. you can't talk about the NDA, or you can't. And so, if somebody yeah. spoke about the NDA to Jason, it means they can. And, and, but so. see, but Jason has been told been told a lot of things, for example, Fun fact, yeah. he had said that my lawyer said all these different things. How does he know this? Oh, yeah. Because I guarantee he, claiming, he doesn't oh, speak for my lawyer. Your lawyer begged to Katie's he was lawyer. Like, he, was, what? he was told certain things. How does that... Okay, does that, does that make it fact? Because I will. Sh this will come out one day, right? I mean, this is what... It's he doesn't a, give a shit a about the truth, it's right? It's a pattern that's been going but that's, on. All it is an assertion. Since the non show broke up, it's been going on. Right. This, this, I've been told nonsense. Yeah. Kate, Katie Joy Paulson herself and me, she blocked me because she wanted to, to tell the world what she was told about a meeting that she wasn't part of. And Steve McRae and I were part of that meeting. In fact, that McKe the people in that meeting were Steve, myself, uh, Kyle Curtis, and Ruhif was there, right? Yes. Um, and Reds. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ruhif Ruhif and Reds. Reds. Mm -hmm. Those were the five people in that meeting. So why is it always that he gets things from second and third party sources and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's always, oh, I was told this. And then when you ask for actual evidence to substantiate what he was told, bumpkiss every single time. I can't yeah, tell about my source. Scapegoat. So yeah. he can when I say my, when, when I say my so lawyer has said it this. It sound credible and then he just is sure, like, but, no. but, but when I've said my lawyer has said this, I've, I've shown you guys. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you've got like written words on letters. And do, do, I, do, I, do I have and to stuff. show? Do I have to show anybody else? No, I have no onus to show anybody. You don't even have to show me. But but, but I've shown you guys. I don't want you to show me half the time. <laughs> well, I just the only reason I do is so you can say yes, I've seen it, right? I mean, but here's the thing. Yeah. I, I at least have the evidence. I know what the hell I'm talking about. I, yeah, I mean, and uh, that... Rock never has the primary evidence. Never. Yeah. Here's... See, 
the problem is that Jason, what he does is just because you're saying, Jason, I don't owe you anything, right? I don't, I, and I'm not going to show you. Jason decides that that's a good go go for him to jump to conclusions, all the conclusions he wants to jump on, and he does oh, that yeah. then. No, but, yeah, but I'm sorry, but saying. Oh, you're not a... going to show me anything? Oh, yeah, then I'm going to make up this story, this story, this story, this story about but you. What would be the difference between, hey, you know, I go, um, let's say I had this real fantastic story, and I say, well, you know, this is what Cheshire told me. And Cheshire comes up to me and goes, what the hell are you talking about, Steve? I never told you any such thing. And I'm like, I have to produce something that uh, that says she said it, right? I'm like, okay, well, here you told me this in, in email or whatever, right? But you, if, if, I I, if she never said. told me this. Yeah, but if she never told me something, and I'm like, well, yeah, well, Cheshire told me this, and I have no evidence to back it up, you know, I'm kind of SOL. I mean, I look like a kind of a dick, right? Maybe. Yeah. She did tell oh, yeah, me, so I, I, fun fact, she did tell me, she did tell me she would love me forever if I kept her properly fed. Correct. That is a true fact about me. Okay, so just so you guys are aware. I, I have to witness this pictures. conversation. Yes. It was very I, unpleasant, okay, I actually. haven't. I have an Amazon wish list. One is for the dog. One is for Puck. Look at him snoozing over there. He's snoring. You might be able to hear him sometimes. One is for me. One is for the dog. I started using mine as a grocery shopping list. <laughs> Just for oh, myself, not bag. for anybody to actually use Damn it. <laughs> but that exists. So it, it it is true fact that if you want me to love you forever, just feed me. <laughs> so... Oh, her, 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 her bar is really low. Uh, you know, it's I have, like you, man. I have those Kenwa African curry puffs, and I, I put them back. Yo, if you in, sent in, me a box of those, I will. Oh, for I, I'll figure out a way if I get up the customs. They are. I, I really want you to try them. I'm not even fronting. I think I they're absolutely they're delicious. They're on Amazon. I'll look. Can somebody? Okay, can somebody? I'll buy you the bag. Just, just somebody. I'll buy you a bag of the of the um, the <laughs> African curry uh, puffs. From alley stores or something like that. You find them, send me the thing, and I'll Amazon to you. Um, uh, how do you spell it? Q U I N. Uh, 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 Quinos or Quinos or no, something no, no, like uh, that. Uh, Q U I O N A, isn't it? I O N A. Quinoa. Is that what you're looking for? Quinoa. Uh, and it's, it's called quinoa. No, it's pronounced quinoa. Quinoa is Q U I N O A. Quinoa. Uh, they're I do not so the good. I definitely see like a lot of cooking ingredients that are. Uh, Another incredible. thing I like, I really like hummus with pine nuts, the chopped pine nuts on top. Chick oh, uh, fresh chickpeas. Uh, hummus is so no. good. Mm, no, I don't see it. Yeah, the only I think maybe they just made for out. I'll get the, here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what they are. Maybe. Oh, I we saw them. We saw them today. I don't, I'm just saying I don't see them on on Amazon. I found Chips Ahoy though. Oh, I was. Did I spell it wrong? Q U I N Q U I O N O A N O A. Quinoa puffs. A yeah, African yeah. curry. These are the greatest things. Uh, I mean, their life. I mean, life. if I had, yeah. I see oh. these organic chips. I uh, see go, go quinoa organic original. Has anybody tried these? Has anybody in the, in the audience even seen these before? They look pretty tasty. They sound pretty tasty. Oh my God! Zeppelin says what a burger. I've never been to a Wega, Wega, <laughs> what a burger until. Um, we went, uh, Sweet and I were in Texas, and we went to Wetter Burger with um, a couple friends. Oh my God, was that burger a damn good burger? I'm Canadian. <laughs> oh, wait, so so wait, Ken, uh, Kendra, Kendra, you've tried these before, the exact same things, Kendra? Yeah, she says they're life. Do, do you get them from um, Aldi stores? Because that's, the, uh, that's who, uh, who sells them. He's just freaking out because there's somebody who agrees with him for once. Yeah, well, Kendra agrees with me, and she's smart, and, you know, I'll listen to her. Um, by the way, you know, Audi stores, I've never been to them until the other day, and they have a, a unique thing that I thought was kind of ingenious. On the shopping carts, they have a little thing sitting on the top that you put a quarter in, and the quarter yeah. then you can release, you can release the, uh, the chain that's hooked to all the, the other ones. Is that new to you? 
<laughs> yeah, I've never seen this before. I swear to God, I've never seen this before. I I am virginal on this. And so you you know, take the shopping cart, and to get your quarter back, you have to take the shopping cart back yourself to plug it in. And so you don't have to hire a bunch of people to go get carts. I'm like, that's freaking genius. It's quite ingenious, isn't it? It's ingenious, yes. isn't it? <laughs> oh, Tiny Dancer says she got them from a health food store. Okay. Oh. But they're the same type of things. Uh, quinoa, I'm not even find the fill beds then. Yes. Kendra, like, you have you have Steve, a great you're, taste. You're acting like Aldi's a new store. I've never been to them, dude. I, I, okay. You really want to hear? You want to hear something crazy? The boomer left I, his house. I, and now he's just all these I, all new world, like, man. I like hey, look, forty look, look, years look, old as look, a company. Dave, Dave, I've never had Chick Fil A. What? I want a Chick Fil A. I've never had Chick Fil A. Just uh, don't know. Chick Fil A is kind of awful. I heard they have really like, good sandwiches. I just mean their policies. Oh, their policies suck. Yeah, I agree with you there, but they're supposed to have really good. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I get a hankering for Chick fil A and I buy it. And I'm gay. So, you know I've what? Never... The, the gay I'm community Canadian. has to understand when it comes to a good sandwich. Uh... But have you seen the people that work at Chick fil A? I bet you most of them are gay too. Probably. So, yeah. You know, Chick fil A. Who are you the CEO not... guy in your stupid yeah. pop? Yeah, oh, a paycheck's a paycheck, and the food's good, you know. Well, I mean, I mean, look, uh, In and Out Burger is run by a very religious family. I mean, even on the bottom of the cups, they have you know scripture on it. Go look at it. Go buy a soda At In and Out Burger at the very bottom of the scripture, like John three sixteen or something. Chickafila, John Park, Chickafila. That sounds like chicken flavored shoes. Popeyes. Yeah, and there's a Popeyes near me oh, now, so good. I might try Popeyes. So, so but, uh, as, a, as a spokesperson for the gay community, Dave, is there special restaurants that only gay people can go to or should go to? What? Well, I mean, because you like talking about you know, Chick-fil-A, people are like, oh, well, I won't go to Chick-fil-A. So that would probably imply well, that maybe there's like special gay food for... The way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I won't go to Chick-fil-A. That, that, you know what? That'd be a cool cultural thing, though. The only reason we don't go like Chick-fil-A is their policies suck. They're yeah. like, one... The whole closed on Sunday thing. So it's a Mormon company, and you know the Mormons take on homosexuality, Steve. Well, that's why I left the uh, the church in two thousand. That's why really you left the church. And you're not gay. Yeah, so, I'm not gay. You know they have issues with homosexuality as a company, and even though most of their employees are probably gay, because I've been to a couple of them, and I'm gay art's pretty strong when you walk in the door there. Just saying. Um, I keep calling at Helios to make me money. <laughs> I think he wants and to try then to there's rest. like, there's of course the Hobby Lobby thing over women's rights. Right. Yeah. Look, yeah. if you if but you have other a than that, I don't have any personal reason to boycott company. I'm sure you can find some. Five boycott guys. Company. Five guys was really good. When five I, guys is good, but very expensive. When I five guys is good, but it's overpriced as fuck. Oh really? I, I there's one in Toronto, and I, I that I happened to notice when I was there last, and I didn't go in to try it, but I wonder if their pricing is different in Canada. I also went to the restaurant that's really good that my grandmother took took me and my family to. They uh, she treated us. Oh, it was really, it was so good. But my grandma is like a like a super. Um, she like she worked for the Toronto Sun in their media. At, like as a media editor for like TV shows and stuff, and so she's very much a progressive, like was progressive at the time, and so she's been able to keep up and stays out, and she's like she's not that old, but so, so she's like knows all of the good places in Toronto because she's like a that's her lifestyle, and it's just it's fascinating, and she like you need to know what, how to go around Toronto. She's your she's your gal. I love her. She's fantastic. I boy- wanted to call it non sequitur, actually. Should we boycott uh, Trump merchandise? Which I don't buy anyways. Uh, Tina has to leave already. Oh, Tina. All right, well, All right, uh, good drop again. Uh, looking forward to you uh, starting your thing. and Yeah. should be awesome. I'm, but again, I, I do want people to recognize that, you know, Tina and I have been telling the truth from day one. And yet these people that are just lying about us, it's complete and utter bullshit. I mean, beyond utter bullshit. Um I've never been in a troll group. I denounce troll groups. Uh, I have nothing to do with troll groups. Uh, and Tina, I've never seen her do anything unethical, anything dishonest. In fact, when I was in that group, she 
if anything, my only, <laughs> my, this is a slight criticism, maybe she went overboard on how heavy-handed she, she regulated the group, but that's her group. Well, it made sense because there were uni trolls I, in there I, that she was sort yeah, of... I agree, yeah, I agree. I, no, I'm not, I'm saying, but... Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to make it public, but then I found out you couldn't make the public, you know, anyways, because once you have a private group, you can't go back public. But um, yeah, I've never seen her do anything like that. And I will put my reputation on the line for that. Absolutely. Uh, you know, what's funny is it's so crazy because the group is so boring now because all the trolls are gone. <laughs> they would, they would come, I shit you not. They would come in, say something inflammatory, then delete the account and, you know, screenshot it, then delete the account. Yep. Yeah, that, deactivate, they, and then they'd come back another time. Yep, they they foster that. That's what you see happening with a lot of content creators out there, where they're, they're you know they're saying, oh well, such this happened to me once, and it, you know, and it's all of a sudden like the the norm. Well, yeah. you had a back door open to it that I didn't know about, and they kept getting in, and I couldn't figure out how. And then finally, yeah, I, I figured know. out the back door. Mm. You you had them if they were a member at the Great Debate Community. Oh yeah, they could yeah. I, I, I wasn't aware of that though, and that's I told you to close. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. It was so yeah. funny because I'm like, yeah. they <laughs> coming in. They I just got yeah. Rid there's of this a thing for automatic right approval. Yeah, and I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't cross my mind. It's funny. Anyway, okay, you guys. I did. I did. Best of luck. Yep. Okay. We'll okay. be looking forward to your channel. See you soon. Thank you. This, Bye. By the way, this must be our super secret troll meeting that we're having live. Oh shit! Yes. Damn it! Oh, did I hit? I hit stream. Damn. I enjoy that. Like every time we do a a, a a stream that isn't like specifically about something, we always end up talking about food. I, I'm telling you, food is the food is what brings everybody together. Why? Because we all have to eat. We're chemo chemo hematria Ke chemo heterotropic. We have, we don't make our own food. We have to like eat it for nourishment and. I like food. I'm, God, I'm, you're so pretentious. I am, <laughs> I am really, I enjoy my, my food. Matter of fact, when I'm with somebody, I think the greatest experience is having a nice dinner with them. I, I love those kind of uh, moments. Tiny Dancer, can you link your channel in the chat again? I need to go subscribe. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sharing experience, you know? It's like, do you like this? Do you not like this? What do you think of this? Um, Meals bring families together. I need together. to come down south and try Whataburger. I would love to do that. We'll it is have good. To do oh, that. it's good. We'll have to do that when we're doing our traveling non sequitur uh, going around. And it's so going to take us like... Mm. How long no. should we do that? Should we do that for like six months? We seem to want to go a lot of places. I, I like to travel. Do we want to do like... Are we going to have to live together well, for six months on a bus? I, I wouldn't care. Look, I've been I've I've lived with women all my life. Okay, you have got nothing I haven't seen oh, before sweet. that a woman has. I'm sure. Uh huh. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it may have been a long time since I've seen yeah, anything. Steve but he's uh, making me uncomfortable with the way he's talking yes. to women. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what's funny? Even oh, in the military, even in the military. Let me, let me let me tell you something. In the military, because in the military, people say like, remember when they don't ask, don't tell, and and being in the military, nobody gave a shit. You do your job. Nobody cared what you did. You know, nobody cared. And, and the women the same way. Um, if you serve with women, and I and I didn't, but uh, because they weren't allowed the new program and my ship was male. But the, the tenders that I knew and people like that, the guys don't care. You you, you just don't care. I mean, you mean that like women's naked bodies you really don't care. be that big of a deal due to I, I, equality? I'm going to tell you a military secret that we're sworn to life not to to reveal. But I'm gonna do it anyways because uh -oh. what are they gonna do? And don't. But, but it's, it's it's okay because uh, fuck the navy. Um, during this dur <laughs> during the crossing the line ceremony, <laughs> during the crossing the line ceremony, when you go across the equator, you have to do what's called a, a, a ceremony, cross the line ceremony, where you are, have to turn all your clothes in inside out, get down on your hands and knees, being sprayed with water, gr go through lard, eat two you know two day old nasty food i feel like i'm um, getting bullshitted right and, now no no i'm saying and, and being whacked in the ass with called a shillelagh which is a a fire hose that has been uh tanned into the sun and, and oiled and then they wrap some string you know heavy string around it and they whack you you know repeatedly they you, do this to you every what? time your ship no no only the, the first equator? time only the first time. no 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 only the first time you're 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 wild oh, before okay. you're shut back afterwards <laughs> So the crossing the line ceremony, which has been highly censored, you don't find too many things about it, right? Because it's, it's brutal. But at the very end of it, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. You have to throw all your clothes overboard. 
And so you literally are running naked from the fantail <laughs> to your birthing. What? Shit wow. you not. And to God. Why? That's it's military hazing. tradition. It's, 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 it's military it's tradition. Military you, you ha- I, got, I was fairly lucky. It might only last in four hours. Okay, Four but the worst, hours? the worst thing I had to do, and I, again, just, you get your butts like the worst thing I had to do thumb. is I had to suck a greased olive out of the belly button of Neptune. Uh, what? I'm, I'm telling you, this, I, I, welcome I, to the. I, I see, you don't learn about this shit I, in the military, do you? Don't, don't I don't hear about this. Understand, I don't understand this naval tradition, but anyway. Uh, there's, uh, there's other. Uh, there's By other the way, Neptune, Neptune was the officially the the largest gentleman on the boat. Oh, okay. Okay. I heard belly button. I was like, Ugh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not making the this army, up. I'm really not. The <laughs> I, army the you, hazing thing is like nothing new, though. Like the yeah, army thing. Yeah, not new. When you when you get promoted, I'm I'm assuming it's the same way in other service branches of service. Back in the nineties, if you got promoted. Uh, you got new rank, and that rank has pins on it. Yeah, they tack it on. And they don't put the they don't they don't put the pins on gently and put the backs on the pins. No, they take your collar, take your old rank off, throw it on the ground basically, and take your new rank and take a fist and drive that shit into your collarbone. Yeah, well, think about with East Swass. Your, your East Swass is a pin. Assholes? No, yeah, that's called tacking on. The East Swass is that big and has two pins in it, and it goes on your lapel. Yeah, that shit hurts. That you, shit hurts. I'm telling you, military is not for the light-minded. If you think you're going to go into the military and not have to freaking endure pain, you're out of your mind. <laughs> I feel like I would have been perfectly fine doing military if I joined in high school or junior high specifically junior high and maybe early high school by the well, time and there's high, other canadian uh, there's like canadian something. traditions in the sorry oh of course sorry. there are yeah i don't know what the blue nose tradition i wasn't a sub um I've, I've only been on a sub once and we never left port it was just a tour that i did uh, so i was I've never actually on a sub i was just in a sub does that make sense I've heard that the hazing in um, in the RCMP in the Royal Mounted Police in Canada is really bad, like to the point where it was like it was legitimately problematic, and the government had to step in. I don't know if they fixed it yet or not, but I I heard rumors. I, I haven't really followed up on it because. I well, I think a lot of things changed. I don't know if you guys remember the tail hook scandal. You know, it wasn't a hazing thing. I think a lot of things changed in the military oh, as far as how yeah. they. So I don't know. I, I I don't think they actually do the the official crossing line ceremony. Although they it was never official to, to begin with. Not so yet. It, so it went from not ever being official to even less official if they still do it. Does that make sense? If Tiny Dancer is anywhere near me, I want to go hang out with. Where's she? Bring her in here. Get it. Get Tiny Dancer in here. Why is she sitting in the no, live chat? Are you? are you in here? Come on in, girl. Tiny dancer, get <laughs> get your happy ass in here. Well, I shouldn't uh, assume, but come on I in. I think Kyle ever had a deal with non sequitur stuff. Not yet. So right now he had ten days to produce paperwork that he said in his deposition that he could <laughs> produce that day or later that day, and that he would submit. He did not submit any of that. He also had the opportunity to say why his lawyer should not be able to dump his ass and also to potentially get himself a new lawyer and he submitted nothing (laughs) so we're now just waiting for judgment uh to come down for his uh uh, his motion as well as the scheduling for the contempt hearing and as soon as the schedule for the contempt hearing comes out i'm going to start reading through all of the documentation of the non sequitur show over at my channel. So yeah. if you want that, go subscribe, hit that bell. That shit's gonna be hilarious. Yeah, we're gonna we should yeah. see some movement pretty soon. We don't know what the uh, docket is for the judge, but we're it'll expecting to be any time. Yeah, it'll probably be this week. I'm thinking too, but it's like one of those Tiny. things. You know, the whole story of if you if they tell you a teacher's going to tell you that you have a quiz, but you don't know what's going to come. You know, when it's coming and it's going to be this week, and you're like, okay, well, it can't be Friday because I don't know it's coming. Well, if it can't be Friday, I know it's Thursday. If I know it's Thursday, it can't be coming. Wait, then it has to be on Wednesday. But if it's a Wednesday, then I know it's coming. Then it has to be a Tuesday. But if it's Tuesday, I know it's coming. Therefore, it has to be Monday, which I know it's coming. Therefore, I, I can't have a quiz next week. But then the week comes and there's a pop quiz and you're surprised. Uh, there's 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 a weird there's a it's a weird thing in philosophy. I don't know if you guys have heard that before. That is my that yes that is my, t- my that is my TLDR uh, of what is going on right now. <laughs> Where where is Kendra? Um, I gave her the link. I, 
Uh, uh, tiny dancers that yeah. like me butt heads. Yeah. Okay, so, so can I tell you guys? She what can call me off whatever today? she wants. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I tell? Can I tell what pissed me off today? It involves Bool, so I want Bool's permission. Bool, can I talk about what pissed me off today? Sure. Yes. There After she is. Kandra. Hi. Hello. What, Kendra, what happened to the blue? <gasps> you lost the blue. My hair. Yes. Uh. Well, the purple wash show. Yeah, it was purple. I'm sorry, it was yeah, more purple. Oh, it wasn't a permanent dye? Do, blue. do you know how hard blue is to get all of your hair when you have blonde hair? I've never tried. Awful. I've never tried. No. Yeah. Blue is not a fun time. It's hard to get I it. I told her to go pink. Blue, blue and green is the worst. I might go pink. I might go pink. Ooh. But I still have some purple in there, but... So Atheist Pastor is confused about the quiz thing. It's going to be an interesting... I'll explain it. I'll explain it another time, Atheist Pastor. I want my more epistemological programs. It deals with um, when is the quiz? Yeah, it it oh, deals God. with the epistemology of, of, how, of not being Steve. able to to tell when something's going to happen. Shut up, yeah. Steve. You're going to have to have a stream. Shut up, Steve. Okay. Chaz, what did you say? Because I didn't hear you. Oh, about blue. Before. Yep. Oh, if you were. Oh, I was saying if you add pink to your purple, you'll end up with an interesting color. Oh, yeah. I've done that before, actually. I have photos of me from, like, five years ago, where I did, like, green, purple, pink, blue, green. I did, like, it, I looked like I could have been, like, a cotton candy. Uh, by <laughs> you the way, if you're, you're going to look at the active cases Judge Gale has, uh, check just for the mandatory business complex cases. The Rule 2.1 cases are mostly challenges to the governor's um uh mandates for the um the big c situation and so a lot of businesses wanted to reopen and they were suing the governor most of it is is, is just simple stuff like that so that's not really a big deal the real 2.11 so you just want simple. to you want to see what's on his case load it's Nothing really the, important just simple how did she get in here who gave her the link oh. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, right, you did so this to yourself. I, I do. Oh, today. yeah. You know me. I'm in here. I'm here with three women and a gay man. Yes. I got I, I, now. <laughs> oh, I can oh, be I'm sorry. considered and, yeah. sometimes manly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got. Then we got Kendra. Which we're not sure of whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm she, all over. She it. changes daily. I'm telling you. You don't know. You know what to go by. It's like whatever. What's your One flavor day of the I'm day? One day I'm girly. The next yeah. day I'm tomboyish. Yeah. You know. Keep oh, your enemies confused. Have nice. you guys, wait, have you guys even been on stream with Kendra before? <laughs> no. What? Have you guys been on stream with Kendra? That's a good way to look then at it. How the hell do you guys know her? Keep... We, I've no. been on Kendra before. I, so I haven't. Well, this is my I'm first pretty. time. How can people remember oh, me? Good lord. Jeez, we created a monster. Well, I would remember her, which is... She's the unfor... first time meeting her. There's nothing to it, remember. It, She's in unforgettable. In my opinion, I'm... A much better monster than this person that goes by a certain name. Kendra, you've I always... like 17 people off the top of my head. Kendra's always been unforgettable. <laughs> I've known Kendra quite some time, actually. Actually, it's longer than I thought. Going back. I know, day, right? Yeah, it's been, Isn't it weird? Like, I've known you in Cheshire and, I guess, even Golden for, like, the past year. I think more so Cheshire and uh, Steve, obviously. But, like, it's just crazy to look back and be like, you guys were so prominent and helpful and supportive during, like, such a time. Oh, um, yeah. We tried. That I didn't even know, know what to do or, like, none of us knew what to do. And, like, I honestly think I do remember you, Golden, being around. Maybe, I mean, you're more quiet, but you're so I don't cute. Go, you're whoa, nice what? Golden quiet? quiet? <laughs> I, I don't think I heard um, that one right. interacted directly, like, in a call together, but I'm pretty sure yeah. I saw you guys interacting in chats and But, stuff. like, even, like, I remember when Cheshire was doing the, like, dumb fuck of the year, which I still <laughs> want to nominate Katie for dumb fuck of the year, by the way. Um, I really wanted Cheshire to show like all the screenshots that I released tonight on that video, oh, so just amazing. because I she's a piece a poo poo a poo poo. 
and the nicest way to say it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, I'm so happy I released those, but I also hope that she gets nominated again this year because it was very sad last year. She didn't get <laughs> you think Cheshire, Cheshire yes, did, you did so good on your video, by the way. Thanks. But, Tina, do you really seriously. think there's going to be competition when we have Kyle and Unirock? I know. It's hard. I, it's, it's hard. It's like... It, could we like vote more than that's, one that's like, person that's like, because that's like that's, that's like that's asking point, a theist to say what's more important like, vote. Have, like, uh, we need to have a a award level like but that's like first, that's like asking a theist you know, do you want to choose between Christ or Jesus it's like <laughs> they're both equal or fucking you know I think they're both the same person win. you know Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, we'll call him Kyle Uni or Unikyle there's there's a there is a bit of a, an issue with nominating Katie this year unless she does something really dumb that's directly related to us she's a little then, bit out of our sphere at the moment and I think that a lot of, yeah so I think we'd run into trouble with that but she did mention Kyle. Steve tonight wouldn't that's that true. count there is definitely she she could enter into she she's, I mean, she's she, allowed to mention me I, I don't know she why mentioned people say she's your not. name and then on top of that she also mentioned certain instances in my opinion where you guys had interactions and things go on in my opinion um yeah you know okay here's a okay look <laughs> let, me, let me explain something when it comes to these these content creators um that save my opinion my opinion's fine <laughs> if you're running a subjective evaluation it is if i say it is my opinion that um you know uh, uh in my opinion in my opinion chessar has herpes <laughs> right in my opinion chessar has herpes that doesn't get you out of having opinions because that because, oh my because god, you need to sue him uh, right now. The gift keeps on giving, man. Um, so so if, if, if I state that as my opinion, it doesn't really get you out of the, the statement that you're expressing something to be the case as a fact. Oh, the hair comes down. This, she's like, look at me, I'm so cute. <laughs> Stop to me. Hey. I got her shit yeah. down. I, I, I taught her this shtick, by the way. I, I, I told her. I gotta get me one of those hats. I'm not gonna lie. I need one. I don't have a toque anymore. I have many. <laughs> if you want some, I can mail some to uh, Ontario. It's close to me. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, I get me a I, can you deep finish. Can That's you, like, what? put your huh? name on it? I'll, I'll just, like, yeah, I'll write Tony Dancer on it. Yes. And by the way, just so people don't make the same mistake that I did, She's not a dancer per se. It was an Elton John song. Okay, so let's get this clarified before you ask her to start doing some kind of hip hop moves. I, I do know how I can do whatever. You can hip hop. Sure. You can hip hop. <laughs> no, not hip hop. I like metal and shit. Well, I like, like metal that. too, but I mean, I, 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 mean, I listen to hip hop. I like, I like. all music, but I listen to hip -hop if I'm going to sing, it's going to be pop shit. But if I'm going to shows, it's metal. Taco is asking us a question, and I think it's very important that we answer Taco. What's the Taco question? wants us to say what our favorite type of character is, preferably in a game. I play the archetype female type magic user. FCL, Assassin's Creed, the original. Nice. What, Manu, kind, of, what, what, what kind of character, though, do you usually play, though? So what's FCL? Um, FCL, okay. What's the. What's the question again? Sorry, I lost it. Sorry, What's my bad. What's your favorite type of character, preferably in a game? That's uh, a good question. Although I, I will play a rogue, like something, yeah. something like um, Black Canary or something like that. Yeah. So like a warrior female. <laughs> yeah, yeah, warrior female, but with a high pitched voice, like a very simple well, yeah, power. Yeah, archetype. But I mean, like warrior fighter, at the same magic time. user. Um, rogue, if warlock, I wouldn't have sorcerer. chosen, if I wouldn't have chosen Ezio, I would have chosen probably like Lara or Lara Croft. Listen, Ooh, Brainy, yeah. Brainy, if you're gonna be talking about mages, you better get in here and man up and talk to me in a one on one, motherfucker. Because I gave you the link. Go look at your DM. <laughs> me? <laughs> no, I gave Brainy Beaver the link. I'm up in here already. Not you, Brainy Beaver. You guys, well, first of well, all, you're Canadian too, aren't you, Kendra? 
Canadian. Yeah, so he's Canadian too. So <laughs> look how many Canadians you have in here. We own fifty percent of this shit. I, I know I've got Canadians, <laughs> uh, 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 New Zealander, which we don't know what the hell that actually is, and then a Floridian, <laughs> and, <laughs> which <laughs> nobody <laughs> likes Florida right now. So he doesn't even want to be like I'm dope. <laughs> Florida had one job. Two. What's your favorite character? What's your what's your uh, preferred character type? Preferred character type would be like a Duke Nukem kind of character. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> or like Doom, you know those types. With, uh, come in and kill them all and ask questions later, kind of. Hey. I, I, okay, how about like Battleground 1942? That was a great game, but first time. Sniping. You know, if I wasn't to like pick a video game character from a video game that I grew up with, I would actually probably change my answer to Life is Strange. If anyone's played that. What? Oh yeah, I like a strange. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And, 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 and by the what way, is it dot and D or whatever it is? Just, just so you know, Kendra is only 17, so all the nasty comments in the live chat, stop it. <laughs> nasty comments. 17. She's only Please. 17. Uh, mercenary. No, actually, I don't or... believe she was 17. <laughs> mercenary so... assassin or hitman? What would you be? Those are almost two of those are almost the same. A hitman? <laughs> if I was going to be a hitman, I would probably be OJ Simpson because look how he got off. <laughs> I, 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 check it out. I have hitman. And explain this to me. I was playing hitman. I have like one. Con yeah, like one, two, three, and Hitman, it's like that. But I was playing the first version, right? And it was on Steam, and I'm, you know, I'm doing the intro, and then I'm playing the game. Exited out, went back in, the whole game was gone. The whole game was lost. I'd start from scratch. I'm like, oh, this sure. is bullshit. What the hell happened? Y'all I... liked me. No one was being mean to me. I've never said people were being mean to you. I you said Cheshire. Cheshire would could never be mean <laughs> to you. So Cheshire... She's like, people are being mean. Cheshire. Cheshire was in the middle of bringing something up. She had asked me permission to talk about it, so I'd like to kind of hear what she has to say. Cool. Say All right. Yes, please. Okay. Let's let her go. I'm be angry today. So somebody, I don't know who or why it came up again, probably because it's bullshit, and of course it's unresolved bullshit, so it's going to keep coming up. But I don't remember who brought it up, but we were talking about uh, GE, his wife, and uh, Jimmy Snow. And that whole crew of rejects, and I guess there's probably a couple other people that are in there. I guess Katie Joy would be part of that. But I got frustrated because it reminded me that they, the people were talking about their, like, their non-apologies, right? And I almost feel like I need to do a stream of non-apologies because <laughs> there's so many of them running around. And it pissed me off. And it specifically, hi, Brandy, it specifically pissed me off because I, I, very rarely do we talk too much about like all of the things that Bull has been through uh, before and during non sequitur and during like throughout this. And what what pissed me off the most is that their apology video was talking or their apology not video their apology like little written Dream. words that they did were like basically fuck Steve fuck the fans and fuck you guys. But it said nothing about Bull. And it's like, okay, so you you don't like Steve, fine, whatever. And so you're like, yeah, fuck Steve, he's a bad person. I'm not even gonna say anything about him, fuck him, whatever. Okay, but what about Bull though? Bull was facing homelessness. Bull got basically wasn't getting paid. Bull has been going through trying to get um, your disability stuff. Yeah, Bull is autistic and has to deal with that problem. He's having he's, he's had trouble getting work because of it. And here you are actively assisting somebody who's not paying him for the work he's doing, stressing him out and being an asshole to him, and then actively kicks him out and tries to steal the only thing that could be a steady income for the guy. Asking to well, lie for him? Asking. And is still, even that, and is still to this point keeping what could be the most steady income that Bull would have access to to this day. And they don't even mention that their, their actions and their continued actions are still actively harming him. It's like they completely forgot he existed and realized that what they were doing were, was fucking him over too. And I don't know which is worse. And it 
pissed me off, and that's my. Uh, I, 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 are you trying to tell us that people like Jimmy Snow only gives a shit about himself and is willing to lie to his audience to cover things up? Because that would be shocking. Oh, but they're like, oh, but we're we're so much about virtue ethics, and oh, we're such good people, and we're humanitarians, and we're skeptics, and we want what's best for the community, and we reach out, and we're so helpful to people all the time. But you know, fuck that bull guy that we completely forgot about and shafted. Uh, bull's, bull's always an exception to the rule. Hey, Brainy. Well, oh, good. Hey, hey, Brainy. You're muted on the okay. meat. Right. Okay. Sub, sub boy. There we go. I got it figured out. I think. I'm here. Yes. Um, yeah, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Yeah, why don't you like mages? Well, you know, finish with Dave first. Dave, so what do you, what do you got to add on that? I never said anything bad. <laughs> you I, I, go ahead, sir. I, I will pyromance <laughs> you into oblivion. <laughs> Palm pyro for the win. I'm just going to scream. <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> If, if Brainy bursts into flames right now, I'll be that would be concerned. awesome. Wouldn't it? I'd be like, my power is real. <laughs> yeah. Well, we yeah. found out that astrology I, worked today. Uh, that that was cool. Mind. Finding out that astrology actually worked. Uh, who knew? I do yeah. not want to ma manifest me getting exploded into flames, though. Want well, you all to know that we now just confirmed everything that he believed by inviting me on. Um, okay, but so I don't just, so, you, like, just so you know. Real quick, uh, oh, Atheist so Pastor. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Atheist Pastor says, You know the story I told you about Jimmy Snow, Steamer Craig. Guy's an asshole. I do know the stories, but I've never said anything about him. I want to know that story. Hang on. Story, hang on. Hey, Chris. Hang on. Chris, Chris has asked DM me. DM me that, DM Chris, me that story. Chris has asked me. You guys know I'm the vault. People tell me things in confidence, and I do not. Share them. People know this is one thing of that. Okay. I, I Chris has, that. Chris has, Chris, I have never even mentioned Jimmy in relationship to Chris out of respect for that until Chris, so he, he just, Chris, you just mentioned it. So now you might be having to explain yourself because, uh, yeah, Chris, what's up? But, uh, I, I, I've never, <laughs> I've never brought it up to you. Okay. So everybody wants oh, to I kept, I kept my promise to you as, as much That's as why. I, <sighs> All right. Does Bull have anything to say in yeah. regards to my friend? You're he's, is, Are you mad at me now? Don't be mad. I'm at not me. mad at you. No, no. Well, wait, um, wait, wait, wait till the oh, sorry, Who can be mad like, at I'm, dis I'm just disappointed. Yeah. That's my, no, worse, my, right? my issues. My issues with those people uh, <laughs> are because I. It's more about the friendship I had because, like. I know Godless Engineer and Casey didn't necessarily see eye to eye with Steve before that, but I didn't hold that against them. Well, yeah, why would you disagree right. with me? It's, that weird? It's their problems with Steve. It's not my. It's not my issue. My issue is when you come yeah. to me complaining. Like the, my last conversations with GE after the non sequitur show broke up, is he's coming to me, uh, basically, in a almost. Almost like I'm going to give him some kind of absolution, right? So he comes to me and says, you know, why is everybody accusing me of being a liar? And rather than, you know, say, I don't know, Godless Engineer, why, I don't understand why they would be doing that. Uh, I told him, I said, it's because you're putting out information which is demonstrably false because I'm a friend. I'm going to call you on your shit. And, and I've done it talk to several Bull times since then. In time, they did not have to only rely on Kyle. Right. They could have like talked to him. me. In fact, all of them did talk to me after the fact, um, except for Jimmy, um, which is not surprising <laughs> at all. <laughs> You mean the, the the one person who supposed to be standing up for the gay community and you know actually be humanitarian? Right, right. Oh. Gotcha. Just making sure. Uh, <laughs> right, right. That guy yeah. is the the socially social justice. Yeah, mm -hmm. to put that word in air quotes. The justice. one that called called me Warrior. transphobic. And I think maybe you bigoted. What's who called you bigoted? Somebody kept calling you bigoted. Um, yeah, That's I'm, hilarious I'm a transphobe too. according to Jimmy Snow. Wrap your head around that one. I'm bisexual, okay. so I'm going to beat you up now. Fight, fight, Canadian, fight, she, fight, She's fight, Canadian fight. and bisexual. See, I'll let anybody in here. Um, I'm that I'm bitch that pulls here. your shirt over your head and then punches you in the face. 
That's, that's the Canadian, Canadian technique. That's just all that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What, what? It's like that training. Kid, hang on, hang on. Did what, that what? to a kid on my school bus when I was younger. He was talking shit about my family, and I took his shirt, pulled it over his head, and punched him in the face. Oh, it was a mostly guy. Canadian ad, remember? He just grabs the guy, the guy off. He the was the guy English. Yeah, he came just from right, just right. I died. just smacked a guy across the face what, what like it is the guy who called me. I mean, I don't do that now. I was like 10 at that time. So now I would get Charged so that, that was about seven years ago. No, okay, I, so, yeah, I can do the math. Okay, no, I didn't miss that, so actually. Chesh, what, Chesh, what were you saying? What? Nothing. The last year? <laughs> yeah, nothing. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Okay. Come on, if you wanted to, go ahead. Do your thing, girl. Um, so, yeah, you guys, I was going to say, you guys don't even know the shit that I've had to keep silent with Brainy, the things he's told me over the last six months, according to Unirock. Um, him being my super <laughs> secret. What the fuck so, are you even talking so, about? So my super secret meetings with Brainy, uh, where he would just fill me in and all kinds of stuff, and we'd talk for 24 hours a day because he was my bestie. And, and, and then you had me going for like the first <laughs> second there. I was like, I don't Did even know what you're talking about. 24 7 a day. Oh my god. Well, I mean, she, I was in, hard. she was in my DMs and that lit that lit Uni Rock on fire because that was the connection. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, this just in. Brady, People can the, keep friendships. When's the last time I like, talked to you, dude? Seriously. How long has it been? Oh, you and me, we haven't talked in a while just because I hadn't been around. You know? Not not around your exact I don't know why like people think that I can communicate with everybody background. every single day of my life. I have I I mean no, no. I've been reality, taking notes. Don't worry. I have a lot of people I know. I cannot keep with a touch with everybody every day. It just wouldn't be physically possible. Kendra's an exception. My 2020 she has, has gone about. My 2020, don't worry, has been going about as good as everybody's 2020. Yeah. I got a car that's t boned in the driveway. My microwave face, died right? yesterday. My dog died two months ago. We're, oh, it's just, that's so it's sad. Just a never, so why'd you T-bone? It's wait, just a never-ending trail of 2020. You, I want to end really? that. Wait, wait, why'd you T-bone your car? Did you hit a moose? I didn't His dog died. Can we just take a second to <laughs> no, It's okay. The leash, the, dog. the leash is here. She's okay. Okay, She's in but doggy let's, heaven. let's give some um, prayers to the puppy. Come on now. No, the, the car, 19-year-old uh, ran a red light and T-boned the car. Unlike Sean Connery and Alex Trebek, you survived, right? Right. Okay. But she, with the little girl in the back, of course, they got the hit. They hit pretty good, and the little girl We're strapped all in. She just goes, she just sits in the back and goes, she didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's that's a, that was a hell of a feeling I was, drive, I was driving back to San Diego from Buena Park because I was stationed in San Diego for a while and I'd come to visit my family you know, maybe so often because it wasn't that bad of a drive I'm sad and, now and I, and I was driving back one night uh, um, it was late at night uh, in a Chevrolet Cavalier and in the fast lane even though it wasn't going very fast but all of a sudden the car in front of me blew out a tire I stopped I look at the, the rear view mirror and what do I see in the back coming at me at Am full I... speed, some headlights. And I'm thinking, he's not going to stop. He's not going to stop. Holy fucking God, he's not. He's uh, plowed right the hell into me. Luckily, I, you know, I was prepared for it, and it wasn't hurt. Uh, but of course, he was uninsured. Uh, but it was just like, oh, that's a hell of a feeling. I don't like ever. I, I, I was like, I'm not driving again. This, this sucked. One of the stupid things so I've ever heard about when I was in Calgary. Uh, when I was in Calgary, my buddy was in a traffic jam, and a transport came up. And and or no, not a transport. It was a it was a, a concrete truck, full load concrete truck, and it hit the. It, it didn't break. He he didn't realize to the last second. Hit the brakes. Hits the car at the back of the line and get this bullshit. Clunk 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 all the way up the line, pushing cars like about three feet forward into each other. Well, guess what? The only person in that entire line that doesn't get a following too closely ticket is the person at the very front of the line. Everybody else gets a following too closely ticket because they're all hit the back of the car in front of them. Every you know single like, twenty-five cars in a row get it. Yep. You know that? No, no I don't know. Yeah. I stole a car when I was seventeen. It was my parents' car. So last when week? Was, was this last week? Wait, was this last week? <laughs> I thought it was a month ago. <laughs> Shit! I wish I, I was, was where I am she's, now. You know what's funny is she's older than all uh, you motherfuckers. So Okay. I, I, I wish I was in the mindset I am now when I was 17. But yeah. no, I stole my oh, mother's no car and I got <laughs> stuck so on a dirt road and they used that as an excuse and said that I was trying to kill myself with the exhaust. Huh? And uh, they put me in a psych ward and I was in there for like three months 
And then I threatened to kill myself if they sent me back home to where I lived in the country. And then I got emancipated and went into child family services for a year. And then I moved out by myself. I moved oh, wow. out by myself actually before, like, I was 18. But, yeah. Wow. Well, that's just that she's well, well, well. the most because Dave's my age. But um, Atheist Pastor says, according to Jimmy Snow, I don't know anything I about an area that. I'm an expert in because he Great. read a news that's article. Great. That's exactly the case. Oh, I know the story. <laughs> yeah, that is that is true. Um, I really do look like I'm though. If yeah. I could look like Emily Baker, like that lawyer, when I'm Ooh, her age. Yeah. Oh, boy. She had like 4,000 people in like, her life. after today. all the men, I'd be like... I really Last like week, video. she's video? so hot. Like I love. But you gotta her, admit, but... Jennifer Aniston. I watched her in a movie, the recent movie, even. I was like, wow, Jennifer Aniston's still rocking that. She's like, how old is she now? She's gonna be in her fifties, right? Cox looks really good for her age too. Oh, there's some women that age exceptionally well. I've always been a uh, uh, Jer uh, Jerry Ryan fan from like uh, seven to nine. They oh. should have kept that cougar show going on. She's like fifty-two like, or something. Whatever, Courtney Cox. And yeah. Stuff. Oh, Jerry such Ryan's a good show. Oh my God. Every, every Star Trek always she, had a sexy chick on the She looks better deck. now than she ever did. I mean... <sighs> they knew the we... formula. They were like, lots of legs, lots of spandex. Just give her. You'll, you'll bring them in. Exactly. Spandex? <laughs> Never go wrong with spandex, right? It's always about the spandex. Yeah. No, they knew the right. Right. seven yeah. of nine it, was it, spandex from neck to toe. Yeah. <laughs> like yes, yes, she was. Um, That's actually and those, true, those breasts like, couldn't even be real. David, David. Girl, like, they they we, must we, have we, had we, an we, iron, yeah. like a plastic cup set underneath to lift those breasts like that, too. That was crazy. Who's hotter? Who's hotter? Gates McFadden or Marina Sirtis? So, I don't know who any of these people are. Um, McFadden was the, uh, the, the, the doctor, the doctor. Um, and who was the, who was the other person? Marina Sirtis. Is oh, Marina Sirtis. Choice. Um, you know what? I'm, were you talking about on next generation? I'm never yes. really, I would go. Oh, with, it was yeah, the there's empath. so many generations. Yeah, she was the empath. Generation uh, one, two, three, four, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty. It was that chick over the doctor. Marina's, Marina's Diana, Troy. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I never uh, had a thing for yeah. Diana Troy, to be honest. But with I didn't like Diana Troy over the other one, who was the name of the empath girl. I have no idea who Diana. Diana Troy was the empath girl. I, I would have gone with Beverly. I thought it was. Uh, are you oh, sure? Beverly Crusher. Oh, okay, maybe yes. if I had a pick, if I had a, had a pick. Oh my bad. Be... I thought that was the doctor. Sorry, Jess. Yeah, the doctor Crusher. with the red head, Doctor Crusher. Yeah, I probably uh, she was cute Crusher. too. There's nothing wrong with Crusher. If I really had my <laughs> choice, hey, I'm Riker straight too. as hell. But if I really had my choice, I would have taken Picard. Just to say, I, I had, Just, you know, Kawasa ten thousand one missed the early show support. Thank you, Kawasa. If you guys, like come on, seriously, about, you, guys, you guys had a chance to be with Picard. You want to take shit. it? I would. I would want one of the three. I would probably pick my my top three would be Jordy, uh, Data, and uh, Tasha Yar. When you say Jordy, I just think of like that MTV show, See, Jordy Shore. I, 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 I none of them really. I, I don't. Yeah. Don't, we don't have the same taste. That's yeah. fine. Now, I, I did like, um, oh, what's, she went to hell in a handbasket, but when she was on the show, she had that little pixie haircut. She was, um. That's Tasha Yar. Not Tasha Yar. She was the. Karen? Was she Karen? She, 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 she came on board with the uh, uh, Nex or Nex. So she was a Karen. She was just she was really cute. Had a really cute pixie Possibly haircut. A Karen. Um, but then she right. really got into drugs and went to hell. Possibly, Karen. Uh, I, I do like both <laughs> the doctor. Uh, I do also like Diana Troy uh, as well as. Um, do you know who I don't like? Russia. Lisa Re Rena Rena. The, the from what? The one from Real Housewives. Real I don't want. She any was of those like shows. on that soap opera, but now she's all known for Real Housewives. I just wanted to say that that I don't like her. If I had, if I literally had to pick one from a, a Star Trek, um, I, 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 I'm not a huge fan of Discovery, but the the girl that plays Michael Bur uh, Bur Burnham. Oh Sonequa, yeah, I don't know her. I can't think of her. I name. think it's Sonequa Green, Green. Oh my god! Oh my god! I guess I'll throw a wrench. I'm gonna throw gorgeous? a wrench in this. I'm gonna. 
Stargate, you guys. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, what was there, Samantha Carter? Stargate. Mm. Oh yeah. Yes. And and back when she in their in her uh, younger years, she got I did a little not bit. Know she was little bit older eventually, I guess. <laughs> I didn't know she's she was British. She's she's full she British. Is. Yeah, she yeah she she's faked that British, accent. Yeah. She faked that accent in Stargate. I had no idea she's actually a British I actress. Love. I've got an actually personally signed thing from Teal'c. My my aunt did something because she works. Uh, Teal'c's with pretty Pat. hot. I, mean, doing... I gotta admit, for a straight guy, something Teal'c to do with. <laughs> <laughs> something to do with I something to do with taxes. Point, right? yeah, I was don't get me wrong, I switched that up hard. But, right? Yeah, yeah something to do with taxes on the on the West Coast. So he's an American he citizen. He would wreck you, dude. So he, he had to pay that dude would wreck to pay Canadian you. taxes. So <laughs> had some to do with. You guys like, having sex with Tilk? Damn. <laughs> he would, he would, he's he's a big dude. That's a, B, that's a BBC, and I've gone too far. He, he would blow your head <laughs> off. Your head off? What are we talking about now? Yeah. Well, I mean, when he's like, Pff. I said, calm the hormones. <laughs> yeah, uh, she was oh, dead. Cars. She's gorgeous. Talking about cars and accidents, I was I was um part of a site last week where we had a, an accident, and so this high up, it was going under the flyover. It's it's called the carcass flyover because it transports carcasses from one side of the road to the other on the site. And this high up had its um, lift Animal out. Animal or human? Animal or human carcass? Hum, uh, human, human. Definitely human. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> cow. Cow and bull. So... <laughs> so... <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I'm just making sure. <laughs> 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 so the lift was up and it drove under the uh, under that flyover and the lift ca got caught in the um in the flyover and this truck had like two two ton each like um chain chain rollers you might say on it and it just mm -hmm. dug into the ground uh, into the road sorry and just spun around 360 degrees and the the high up just broke into half, and luckily no one got hurt. And Wait, yeah, so like it, like a it pendulum was effect, and it dug into the ground. Yeah, so the flyover, right? So it got the the lift got caught in there, and then because of the speed and the weight, it just went forward in a pendulum like motion. So yeah. as it went forward, like in a pendulum-like motion, it just shoved itself into the cement, or into whatever. the into Jeez. the road, and then swung around because it got caught in the road, and then it swung around 360 degrees, <laughs> and, wow. and the whole thing just like twisted and broke into half, <laughs> and then I can yeah, see that yeah. There's and some like probably... serious freak accidents that you can hear about, or just certain accidents, and you're like, "What? I would have never assumed that could have fucking happened." You know? Yeah. It's it so crazy. Have you guys ever heard it of? It reminds uh, me of like and for eleven or movies. guys. We got to hear super that thing on. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. We got a super chat, and it's probably my favorite super chat. This is why I'm a little bit eager to read it. It's uh, Jamie Russell for two dollars. Said, "I am poor right now, but anything for T Jump's dad." He's adopted, um, and so Apparently, all I was going to say is that is when you were talking about the vehicles Jesus. hitting the top. Before we get off that, I wanted to say anybody who hasn't seen it, just go to YouTube and type 11 foot eight," and there's a bridge. Where the well, they bridge raised the them. bridge. Yeah. And they finally, it's still, but we will still those cool. women in Barely. Russia that like ran into traffic. No, no, no. This is no, no, no. Kendra, Kendra, this is Kendra. This is all day long, nonstop, to the point where it had its own website, and the people who lived on the corner had a camera permanently mounted facing this corner because, like, literally, they would fix the bridge and somebody would run into it. They'd fix the bridge, somebody would run into it, and we're talking, <laughs> oh, wow. we're talking like peeling the roof off of like like moving trucks oh, and shit. Hey, Brainy, yeah. Brainy, oh, yeah. Yeah, like Brainy, what's the condition to get your rents back? What I say? What I say the condition was? We get eighteen thousand. How bad do you want it? Because we did a sub drive today. I'm down one. Listen, 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 listen. I, uni, uni. Just so you know, you Uni, I lost. Four, it, I lost just... four subs. From yeah. from from leaving that group, just saying. Ooh, four wow. subs, buddy. Um, I, I know. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Well, thank you for Wait. everyone that has supported me and retweeted me. 
<laughs> hey, look, I love supporting creators. I love supporting people that have honest content. But if you are a shitbag, you are a shitlord, and you lie to your audience, and you do that for views and donations and vape juice or whatever it is, I am not going to support you. I've been that way for how long? That's the, the primary reason why the people that go after me and Reds and Bull do so, because we didn't want to be around shitty fucking people. I don't know how many times that needs to be explained. I, am I in any way inconsistent? I I'm in Uni's mind. Oh my God. It's so dark in here. <laughs> God has spoken. Oh my Lord. <laughs> oh, oh, so. It's so dark. I can't. Hello? Hello? It's dark. What? I can't find the way out of here. Where are you? Oh my God. There's just Where pictures of KJP Why? all over the wall. No. I Where can't. are you? There's no. pieces of bread smoking crack in here. <laughs> you do realize Kendra was in a psych ward. This is freaking the fuck out. <laughs> She's having flashbacks. Sorry, that's the, we've, been, we've all been playing with voice mod lately. That's I'm the really inside of me Flipper's mind and Unira. Could you not tell? I, 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 voice mod is cool when doing videos. Um, I haven't the really heard that one before. That. I have like, I voice mod somewhere. But I didn't that. mean that. If it came in a little loud, sometimes that's a little bit. It's hard I've to never tell heard that before. But I, I still loved it. I, I went with it. That was you fun. can hear that. You can hear the water trickling here. Listen. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. I might have to go and pee. You're allowed to. Are you? Are you? Are you, are, are, are you imbibing tonight, Kendra? Kendra, are you drinking? Ken, Kendra, are you? Kendra, Kendra, Earth, Kendra, are you drinking? I'm distracting her easily. Sorry. Water. You guys are both Canadians. Yeah. Maybe you guys live next to each other. Just saying, you know. We do. We're close. I've got a wife, Ontario, thank you. And I'm Manitoba. I'm not against shipping. <laughs> all Canadians I live, in Manitoba. live next to each other. Yeah, I don't really know the difference. Yeah. I don't. If you're Canadian, you're I just assume you're Canadian. I would, I would take you out, Chess. I'll take you out. I think Chess and her are in the Chesh. next province, and they're all they're still like several thousand kilometers away from me, and they're only in the next I, province. I, you know I, what? I'm like saying all... Dave McGinnis and Victoria are next door neighbors. Can, can, you just dox me, Bull? How dare you? No, I'm talking about British Kendra, Columbia. Kendra, you, Hello? Kendra, <laughs> Kendra you, you and Chess actually would have Canada. beautiful children if you thought about Excuse it. Me. We could have what? You, could, you, would have, you two would have beautiful children together. Oh, thanks. I'm not sure biologically works that way, that but done. just, you know. I would agree. Yeah. You're beautiful, Chad. You can pull a out. For some drinks, you come to Manitoba. Can we borrow some of your manas? Yeah, we know, Ken, we, can, we know Kendra has, she gets distracted easily. It's like, chipmunk. <laughs> oh, shiny not ball. Not always, okay, but I don't blame my ADHD like some people now. Come on. Uh, no, you don't. No, no. Never have. Yep. Well, follow the bouncing ball. <laughs> I, I can see her actually doing that, getting some kitty costume, just throw something, and she was chasing after it. Some kind of um, weird cosplay. Right, um, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm going to head out now. Yeah, right, I've got to work I, tomorrow. Yeah. Right, thank you, Maya. Thanks for having me. Good night. Night. Enjoy. Here's yeah. Always. And Again. everyone, just enjoy the shit show that that's just happening on internet. Just enjoy. Yeah, we're just, look, we're just having fun tonight. I look. I like, like I said, that's all going into Augie's thing was about, anyways. Uh, it, it wasn't going to change anything, and I, I knew what I was getting myself in for. But you know, I, I shows I'm not afraid of Union Rock uh, at any stretch of imagination. That was so weird. Oh, yeah. I was earlier that I thought I think I think or, or that I find bizarre is there's this whole thing that oh Steve's not going to talk to this person. Oh Steve's not going to talk to this person. He's scared of that person. It's like every time. No, he's not. To, he, Just fucking send him a message. Well, every time there's been like an opportunity for him to actually have what would be a decent conversation, mm -hmm. uh, or and that tends to turn into a shit show, like it did with Prolib, and like it was tonight with Uni Rock. Like he's consistent. Yeah, about well, this. that's he's Uni like a, Rock. What the fuck? But they did all you do the same things. I mean, look what happened with Uni or Prolib, right? <laughs> when I confronted Prolib, I, I mean, he, he exposed himself. Like, pro, well, I didn't. It was, I don't know if it was he's true so or not. So stupid. I was like, wait a minute. Opinion, you tried reporting. Allegedly. Wait, wait, wait. You tried reporting a crime saying get the FBI on us whether you didn't know where the crime was being committed or not that who does that oh you know what I think maybe Brainy Beaver is just you know they do that I, I think he may be having tax evasion and you know not funny the Canadian Mounties I'm going to call Manitoba police force and have him <laughs> investigated it doesn't work like that 
Oh, oh no, I'll expedite. I'll need get him expedited. Canadian Mountie is just well, caught could with be the doing RCMP something of Manitoba, bitch. I don't understand. It. He <laughs> he could be doing something illegal. I'm not, but that's not how you report a crime, especially from somebody who lied about it to be from the beginning, and and now has been found out that he lied about it. And what kind of half-ass apologies yeah. I get from that chest from Prolib? Uh, yeah, what? Half-ass apologies. What's even a quarter-ass apology? Where? 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 They, those no were no apologies. Apologies. Those apologies. were not even apologies. They can't even name those apologies. He wanted me to come on his channel, and then he deleted his entire channel. That's how afraid of me he was. He wanted you on his Aww. channel so that he could try and get you to talk shit. That would have been great. She's a good shit talker. Really talk been actually entertaining, <laughs> but... I would have had. You know, he would have deleted the stream like right after. Uh, oh, right. probably. Absolutely. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. Good Thank night, you. Bye. Good night, Yay. everyone. Night. Have a good time. Yeah. I, I, this happened with with Kyle too. That I spooked him so bad he deleted an entire channel. <laughs> I'm spooky. Talking guy. about tastecraft. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What even happened? He posted that one intro video and then fucking because people were like, "Oh, screw you!" <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Fucking nothing. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. They, they had uh, Augie, you know, kind of mocked the non sequitur show fans because he doesn't know them, but he doesn't know how rabid they could be. He didn't see tens oh. of thousands of comments left on videos. How rabid these fans were! Six, seven, eight thousand fans that were just pissed off as shit at Kyle. Yes. Still are. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that hasn't gone away. <laughs> it's almost like, but it always reminds me too of like the like rants the unnamed would say and go on about about people yeah. being like they're all haters. They're all coming from here. That's actually not a bad impression. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I gotta be like Lava now, and I gotta start some parodies. I I kind of <laughs> like, I and I well, I do have ADHD, so I do like oh, move my hands right. a lot and touch my hair a lot. I was gonna say touch myself, but that sounds. I was just oh. thinking of the divinal sign. I touch. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I think about. You, I touch myself. That one was banned in Australia when I first came out, I think, or something. Wasn't there a song that was, or is it, uh, oh, uh, there was, uh, Let's Get Physical? Maybe that was the one. Let's get physical. Yeah, one of those songs was banned in Australia when it was first released. Quick question. <laughs> uh, when did the whole Kyle Steele non sequitur show, when was that hangout on Reds' channel? Oh, like the, the first one? Hold on. That was like, last year sometime wasn't it yeah i'll i'll go get that for you because i well i have it all organized Same. yeah oh, of course i do you're really good at organizing things she's Thanks. meticulous yeah she got like one note stuff and she moves all I stuff know. around i love and, that yeah. i love that I, i'm not I, 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 i'm the opposite i, use I have Google Docs. ocd so like certain things i'm really particular with and like i went through this year and like organized all the screenshots that i had from last year in my google drive to try and make them more like organized so i could send them to people so the whelp that happened video came out on july 14th of last year um i however, really miss a lot like it's crazy because but i mean i was full-time in college and like i have this screenshot of her or katie is like well she hasn't been that active these past couple months well everyone knew i was in college like i talked about it full time like uh there's also you know can you open please cool thanks there's also <laughs> the um uh, the, 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 the first one in chronological order is the death of the non sequitur show which um came out on the 13th um of so november the the 11th is when shit hit the yeah june june 11th is when shit hit the fan yep. uh, but shit really and, hit the fan at thanksgiving as well right 
Right. Oh, yeah, because there was more than one situation. So when things yeah. first happened, it was June 11th, 12th, and the 13th was when all those streams happened. Um, then there was the the death of the non sequitur show, which is chronologically the first one, but not the first one that came out, came out a couple of days later. So that one actually happened first, which I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, happened on the either the 10th of June or the 11th of June. I'm not sure which day exactly. I'd have to watch it again to see if the date, because I think Steve says the date. Um, then there was uh, basically just, because uh, Kyle was still streaming to Non Sequitur at that point, there was like kind of back and forth streams that were going on. And then for the updates, there was uh september and october were like the biggest months um up until like the newest stuff going on um because well that's sorry no 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 that's september october of this year september october of this year were really big with garbage going on um and then there was uh the november stuff and that november and october stuff was when steve actually like when the default judgment happened which is why there was hey, hey, hey chess did, did did laura literally today post her picture of herself pre-transition yes yes D don't don't try i can't don't, i can't no. I can, stop it hurt. oh oh my god i can't it's gonna hurt no. it's gonna go it's gonna blow um can we yeah. just oh, look? We've we we accepted oh. the we we've done our, our concession speech. We've lost. Laura has won the battle, the war. We are defeated. We hang our head in shame. Go with God, Laura. Go 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 with God. You've, you've, you've vanquished the monster from the land. Oh. I had oh I had to mute her. I was like I'm done. I can't. Uh, I, please, Jesus. I I certain things you just go. What? I, I just yeah. I can't. Look. No. I yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, I I you know I I I I will admit one thing in my life that I I have mistaken. I used to think a a lot of people had a lot more common sense than they did growing up, and a lot of people would recognize certain things. Like we find just be natural you know things that we are grown and, and learn and experience and intuitive. That's not the case. And I'm not trying to slight people. There are people out there that really actually do have conditions where prevent them from doing that. I get that. But the ones that do at least try to, to get some help for it. They try to compensate for it. They try to have different things and different skills that they use to, co to, to understand those things. They don't know what help is. Everything is. <laughs> but but uh, even still, a lot, there are some people that are so un self aware to the point oh God, of just opinion. lunacy. We, we, I have, I, and Laura's definitely one of them. I, I don't. I'm just like okay. I don't. I, I'm enjoying watching uh, eight, this. Eight. We've got we've got a troll hanging out, and I'm enjoying reading their tweets because if you try and read them out loud, it's actually really funny. And I can't tell who is worse when it comes to writing in like shorthand, uh, whether it's them or whether it's it's um. It's uni rage, except you know it, they look really similar. But I, yeah, I don't, I don't know which is worse. Gary will always have the ultimate win on that. Oh well, Gary absolutely has the win on that. Yeah. I oh, I love that tweet. I keep that tweet. I, I read it before I go. That to is the standard by which Gary. you should always go. Uh, not not yes. Gary, not that Gary. Gary uh, Hall. Hold on, let me pull it up. Gary, remember Gary Hall, the Quaker, who claims who claims to be a textual criticist, a critic. You know, he does textual criticism. I yeah, yeah. Doesn't ring a bell. You, if you ever, he, he's, he has mush mouth. If you ever listen to him, you can't understand a word he says. Bro, what do you mean? This person is complaining, wanting to know what the judge is saying. I gave them the link to the to the North Carolina court, and they're like, "That doesn't help me. I don't want to look it up again and again. I just want to know the really simple question: When probably the court case will be over and decided? We don't know. You have to just look at the court case and see when it gets updated. We don't know yet. There's mm -hmm. nothing. That's why there. she gave you the link. You can. You, know, you you are in the same position we are. Buddy. Yeah, I, I have no you special can. information besides that. I was told that it depends on the the docket that the, the judge has, but we expect yeah. the we know the judge. We do know this. The judge has said that he does want to move quickly. Um, so we would imagine like, that he will be very, very 
Quickly. But the thing is, is that you can't control how the jury or the judge is going to move and how quickly they right. are going to move. They can say that they're going to move quickly, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to move quickly, especially nowadays because we're during a pandemic. So it's things like this person is mad because like you're not giving me the information that doesn't exist. Mm. <laughs> well, and so? I mean, you guys see need to also remember there's only so much information people can give out especially when it comes to legal situations so unlike certain people on this platform who think they can just spew shit um some of us actually know that there's only certain things to say by the way what was the question <laughs> <laughs> Not yours. No. I, what was the question about um, no, the, trigger, the triggered gesture? Oh, they asked for. Oh, hold on. I'll just scroll up. She's deep in her thought. She's like all up. Once again, for a oh, non, yeah. once again Come. for a non-paid sponsor that I don't have. Quinoa puffs. African so curry flavor. I'm going to do, yeah. I'm going uh, to do you... my best to read this out loud. Please wish me luck. Hey, nobody is in for inform eared here. Question mark. Isn't it known when the fight of Steve and Kyle ends? I would like to know when the judge decides about the case. Question mark. <laughs> um and so I sent them the link because that would, you know, answer their question. And they didn't they tell them, by the way. Yeah, and by the way, you always can go, and Uniwak will tell you, because he, 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 he and the, I guess, the judge go golfing every Friday. Then Virilian actually answered, and Virilian said on July 2019, 16 months ago, because that was when the default judgment went through. So Virilian is actually correct there. Unreal, and they said, Virilian, really? Question, sorry, really? Question mark? You don't understand it? Here, copy and paste of my last question. Quote, I would like to know when the judge decides about the case. End quote. Aren't you an uh, English native speaker? <laughs> I want to know about the case, too. So he answered you. The judge already decided in the default judgment, so there's that. But if you're asking about the new stuff, sure. But he did answer your question, so maybe don't be a dick. So then they said, at Chesh, that doesn't really help me. I don't want to look it up again and again. And I wanted to know the really simple question. Quest Wait. He quest Owen. When probably the court case will be over and decided. Um, hey, before name? we keep going, I gotta. I I'm starting to melt everything. in my chair here. I'm a little bit tired. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. That's why I'm being so quiet here. I'm just kind of Long like pass. dissolving. I can so, tell uh, you're like this. This is you. Fuck, you're I'm... like. <laughs> well, kids are in bed now. It's the end of the day. You know how it is. I, it's uh It's a little. I do I'm, know I'm feeling it is. a little, feeling a little bit sleepy here. <laughs> sleepy sleep. beaver time. I know. Hey, look, I seasonal sleep. seasonal sleep. stuff is Go killing sleep. me. Whenever the daylight saving stuff comes around and we start going into winter time. Without fail, uh, there's about three, four week period um, where I am just not, my circadian rhythm is the worst. And I've been sleeping like a mofo. I mean, I, I just, like, just not. Oh, my sleep. kids will be back up in like six hours. Well, go to bed. Like, no joke. I'll, I'll, no, 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 I'm just saying. Like, so, bed. anyways, it's all, you guys all know what the game <laughs> is with kids. Eh? So, yes. Okay. I've been there, done anyways, that. Thank, thank, wait, wait, thank wait, you guys for me. having me. Sorry, before go Benny goes, I want to get his reaction to this because I don't know if he's ever okay. actually heard this before. So I'm right, going to read this out loud and I'm going to read it as written. Keep in mind that I have read this out loud a couple of times, so I'm a little bit versed in actually being able to read it out loud. All right, okay. you ready? I don't think you what thinking is only... Sorry, no, I already messed it up. I don't think you what <laughs> thinking is you don't know me. All this is just looking for an apology for the victim is all I don't care. If you want to vitz tongue Stephen Cheshire's arseholes, nor do I want to know all I do care about is what is right. There is no punctuation. <laughs> it is the most bizarre tweet in the history of tweets, I think. Gotta get it all in there. You waste a period, goddammit. That's one letter that you could be using to flame somebody. You remember that's pro tweeting 101. All the conjunctions. Less is like, more. Really, yeah. When it comes to punctuation on tweets, less is more. You know what? When it comes to tweets, somebody, somebody, okay, this, I, I, before I go, I will share you this tweet with you. Somebody tweeted, I said, tweeted something at Unirock, and somebody said, uh, 
Oh, you mean, remind me again how many subs you have after all of Unirock's fans untweeted you or unsubscribed you? And I I copied a social blade, the chunk of social blade from the most pre previous like four days since it had all started occurring. And I just mm -hmm. tweeted back with a picture of it and said, I went up 40 subs. <laughs> so, it's like that's all i said back it's like that's how you win the internet right there boy yeah but anyways, but all yeah. about them so you know right? those 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 that his audience doesn't even fit with your we, audience bringing we, his audience say. i wasn't worried about his audience yeah, yeah, why they yeah, exactly they want my those audience, audience. Look, his audience nobody is wants you in my audience. opinion listen nobody. let's put it this way let's put it this way if you go back into his unirock 2 and you go back to a nathan oakley stream that he has a highlight of there's 1600 concurrent viewers apparently watching Unirock talk saw, about Nathan Oakley. Whatever. Like, I have fucking, fucking videos happened. on my channel like, like that that's ever happened that in the history show. of any yeah. of us. Out yeah. of nowhere, just a chat, a, a flat earth discussion, you know, where he's not even talking to Nathan Oakley, he's just talking about him. Yeah, there's some and he gets freaking 1,600 concurrence. 16, yeah, I don't know. 16,000, yeah. He had 1600. Ah, it was 1580. Was it? Oh. I watched it. There's a highlight on his channel from like, I remember something uh, like, like that. better so part of a year ago. I, like go, months I, ago. I want to read. Um, you can stick around and let me read this or you can take off. But I want to read like yeah, what, read I, the kind of messages that I get that I just got in my message. You know, when you get a comment, you get an email. So before you leave, when you know, when when uh, Augie and the rest of them, you know, talk about non sequitur and they don't they don't know anything about it. They don't know the passion of the non sequitur show fans that they had. So this They're too young. So this gentleman wrote me this. Hi Steve. <laughs> Used to listen to your non sequitur show and it was great. I'm an Aussie long distance truck driver, so this kind of stuff is entertaining. This was on my election night uh, video, by the way. Gotta say this. I listened to this for days and have heard an incredible amount of fraud claims after the predictions. Too many to list, but this really needs to go through the legal process before people start celebrating Biden vi Biden's victory and the Dems want respect and unity. They will prove to this to over 7 million very untrusting per people, which is opinion, which is fine. But great work all the same. Cheers. Here's somebody who has a differing opinion that love the non sequitur show that doesn't come to my channel spewing vitriol or saying negative things or saying, hey, look, you suck because you, 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 you know, you're anti-Trump or whatever. There, th this is what we fostered. This is the type of community that we have here, not the community that Unirock fosters. That is a different kind of community. When he says the word community, he's not talking about me or anybody that I know that unless they want to affiliate with those communities, but they sure the hell are not talking about me. I am not in his community by any stretch of imagination. And I want that very clear. Yeah. That's, this is the difference. And before I go, anybody see that tweet that went pretty a little bit viral where somebody was like, hold on a minute, Georgia only has 3.5 million people and there's 5.5 <laughs> million votes and they fucking use the statistics from Georgia the country. Yeah, I, I, I was like, I, I was oh, like, is that what happened? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah Georgia you, the country you, only has 3.3 million people. Georgia the state has more people than Georgia the country. And, and, and if you go to the yeah. registered voters, there's like 3,600,000 or something. And so, yeah, that They're was like, what's happening to my America. But that's, but that's just, like, you know what? But here's the thing. That's the same kind of crap that happened with like Julie, you know, Rudy Giuliani having a press conference from the, oh at the Four God. Seasons no. landscaping. No. I have to read this to you then before I go, because I don't know if anybody saw what I tweeted, the tweet I tweeted for that. That, that is the funniest thing I've ever read in my entire life. I laughed so hard when I read it here. It's okay. So I had a process. So somebody that. tweeted, this is amazing. This is, you have no idea. This is great. It's okay. It's from Jack Bornstein is the person who tweeted it. And it's, I could write jokes for 800 years and I'd never think of something funnier than Trump booking the four seasons for his big presser. <laughs> and it turning out to be the four seasons total landscaping parking lot between a dildo store and a crematorium. You don't, you don't get anything better than that. And that's like true story because that's yes. what they did. Yes. Uh, you, you couldn't even make this up. It's like, is that like the best way? I mean, they were farcical <laughs> when they came in. They're farcical when they're leaving. There's rumors oh. that like one person that was like working with Trump is a sexual predator, in my opinion. Allegedly. How about this? Uh, before you go, Brainy, <laughs> tell me. It's always allegedly. Brainy, yeah, somebody else said it, not you, did, by the way. Did, You're did, just did, reporting the information. Did somebody remember be, that? Did somebody get fired over that fiasco? <laughs> Someone got fired over that. Somebody had to get fired. Anyways, <laughs> I'll take off. Everybody right, peace, have buddy. a good night. Steve, thank you for inviting me. Uh, Chess, good to man. see you again. Uh, uh, you nice Raider. meeting and Kendra, you. I've never met you, but it was nice meeting you as well. It was nice meeting you too. Have a good yeah, night. Sure. I'm sure have I'll see you around. Night. Yeah, we'll be around anyways. I like uh, I came in here so we could confirm everything that Uni Rock believed. Prepare for a five hour live stream tomorrow. <laughs>
We've Sounds been good. Been busted. Yeah, my my exactly. my, my, pay, my spy. Yeah, uh, peace, buddy. I, your plant. I don't. Bye. I, I don't. And, and by the way, Unirock claims he, he still has a spy in my whatever, and it's like, dude, you need to get a better spy because that person you, sucks. They're not giving you, you need anything spy, right. In my opinion, is Katie Joy. No, well, he said no. He actually said there's somebody in my hangouts, and I'm like. Okay, we'll get somebody better because if Chess is your spy, she sucks at it. <laughs> She's not doing <laughs> a good job. If I'm a spy, I am like playing quadruple agent. She's playing like six D <laughs> chess here. That's like the screenshots I shared tonight. Uh, yeah. Before Katie's like live stream ended, I went on and I shared all those screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them, like, she was uh, talking with dreads in it, and she's like, no, that wasn't me. I was looking back on my messages. I never sent that message. There's, like, this bizarre thing that she's trying to claim that I think we'll probably she talk about she later. So but... shit. And it's like, oh, it's yeah. not true. It's not true. She sent me those messages. <laughs> really bizarre, like... I, at one point, at one point, she said that I've never been convicted of any crime at all, ever. And then immediately goes to say, but except for that DUI that I got, but <laughs> da, 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 and then starts it as if she's talking about something completely different. I heard, I heard the about that too. Said it, the way she separated it out was really bizarre. And I think my it's favorite thing bizarre. about the video is her jump cuts, because at one point she just jump cuts in the middle of an apology. It's like this, the cutting is so well, weird. There is, there is, it's not is, an apology though, is, that's the oh, thing. No, there is something no, called compartmentalization, not. right? And there is some, you know, look if i said hey chesh um i've yeah. never killed anybody except for those four murders that i had in florida you know people could compartmentalize these things and somehow murder. work you know you know what's florida that it's, it's a free-for-all down there you just hello you know, 911 yeah. hello somebody hello? clip that look at steve admitting to murder um, <laughs> the FBI. It, by the way it happened at a Burger king just <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna call the Canadian nine one one to go get oh, Steve is this, committing is a crime. This, uh, I think there's jurisdictional issues there. No, what do you mean? I've got the FBI on my ass. Apparently, what is what it would? What, what is Canadian nine one one? Do they have like moose or something that they dispatch to your quarters? Um, yeah, it depends on how severe what's going on is. In England, it's so, in England, is, is it nine one one there? In England, it's nine nine one, isn't it, or something? They use what? beavers sometimes in emergency water situations. They have beavers go out and save the people. Same with moose. If it's if it's large enough, moose are really good swimmers. But it's illegal to ride a moose for fun. Yep. But you can have sex with it. No. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on the depends on the province. Depends on the state. Well, it, you know, it depends if on the state. You're in Saskatchewan, yes. <laughs> there's a um, fun fact if you would like to know. There's a um, uh, fun fun fact about moose. By the way, what do you guys <laughs> think the moose's greatest predator is? Humans. No. <laughs> their uh, own brainy beavers. Their own species. Their own species. No. Nope. 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 No. Anybody else got a guess? So the answer is orcas. Orca whales. Yeah. <laughs> Are the greatest predator. Would I'm you not like sure to how that works. But yes. Okay. So essentially, if you think about where moose live, it's usually near water, right? It's mostly either swampland or on co on the coasts, right? Or far up north where you've got the... Uh, <laughs> they live all up there. Um, what moose eat is vegetation, and one of the things that they eat is stuff like uh, underwater vegetation. They moose don't eat humans. Let's... They swim downwards up to 60 feet. A moose? So the yes. Moose would They're very die. strong. They moose are very swim. strong. They will swim down that far to get food. So if you're living on the coast, in the ocean, swimming downwards, and you're a moose, you're a pretty good target for an orca. 
Okay. Yeah, it's a big target. Oh. Well, I thought it was because orcas would actually beach themselves to get food. Oh, that can happen, yeah. So, well, so that is, that, is, that a, is that a delicacy for orca, moose? Um, well, <laughs> no. It's illegal. No, you can't eat that. No, no. No, 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 orca, but an orca eating a moose. Orca. Okay, eating, uh... yeah, yeah, because because I do oh, know I, I do know this know. about whales. Whales, they're like their blowhole, which is essentially their nostrils. Um, that's not connected to these the the um, esophagus, so food just goes straight in. They don't have to worry about choking or anything. Well, yeah, because they just blow it right out. <laughs> Didn't yeah. you see Free Willy? No, <laughs> <laughs> I did not. That's and by the way, problem. I do I know I know this about whales too. <laughs> Whales, when they when they blow, you know, they do their blowhole. Um, it's not water they're shooting out. That's actually air that's shooting out, but it's warmer than the outside temperature. So what you're seeing is condensation. Yes, oh, I know. Fact. Very good. So I, learned, water, I learned that in grade four science class. You know, we all and see water it. that's on the surface of their nostrils. Yeah, yeah. Before a little they bit of water. Too. Yeah, a little bit of surface of the water, but uh... my brain's remembering things. She she be smarter than she thinks. <laughs> I no, I'm smart. It's all right. Uh, <laughs> I should get out of here. It's two in the yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go. We're gonna. We're gonna. We gotta chat. We gotta chat, man. So, uh, what do you got anything coming up this week? Uh, I, I I got. Um, we have a lot coming up this week. I got that thing with the moral thing with with talking about uh, Lucifer uh, being a good or bad or you know, the moral construct uh, with some guy named uh, Shining light or something i think maybe friday Tomorrow. Uh, am, I, um, am i needed for this is this a, is this i don't a, know i don't uh, got the details yet right? um now is i will tell you this i will not be available on the 11th um at all uh and neither will bullinator right so that's tomorrow no it's day, well that's remembrance for me it's day. day after tomorrow it's wednesday yeah uh, it's ve- wednesday it, it is veterans day it's, and we, it's 1 a.m here and so yeah. i'm I, i'm going to get my free food no matter where i have to go um, it's, yeah. a, it's a tradition to be a landlord go and it's Veterans Day. America's yes. free food. Yeah. It's America. It's an do, American do, thing. do a couple years in the military. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> tw- let's see here. On the 18th, America. I will throw this out there. On the 18th, uh, heavily promoted, we are going to have Dr. Josh Bowen from Digital Hammurabi. And we're going to be talking about biblical slavery with um, Dr. Fazrana on Agree to Argue. Um, that's going to be a that's, really interesting topic, I think. That's on the 18th. The 18th is on the Greed Argue channel, yeah. And that's being pretty pretty promoted. Um, hey, because, I like that. Well, I haven't that's seen fun. it, so link it to me on uh, Twitter so I can share it for can you. Can somebody link her real quick? Because uh, is it, is it, is it uh, yeah, I'll yeah, put I it in the chat. It. Throw it out to her. Thanks, yeah, it's, Trash. It's, it's a fun show. We are we are going to start probably doing it live. Um, after the first year, maybe to, uh, January or February, they have. They so were... it's it's pre-recorded for no, the it's, first it's, right now, video or no. Right now it's live over the internet, but there we have a, there's a studio in West Covina, and they're redesigning an entire set, and we're going to do it live for, with actual like ca- TV type cameras, um, and do it in studio. Yeah. So you're famous. Can I get your autograph? I had William Shatter tweet me out. I've got two more videos about the. Uh... The Amber and Johnny Depp situation, and kind of explaining that and diving into that a little bit more because, oh my God, does that make me angry? I watched your video the other day, Chess, and you did really good in that. Like, I, oh, thank you. I just like Amber so much. I was so mad. I was so mad. I like. I've just been angry the past couple of days because you know what? <laughs> Fuck Bull, I guess. And also, uh, the Me Too movement apparently is what's going on. Well, appara- because, apparently, you know, women can't abuse men. Who knew? Oh uh, yeah, right. Yeah, did, did not re- did not realize that fact that only women could be abused. <gasps> this is my Twitter wow. anniversary. That's so mad. <sighs> I joined I bugger- Twitter nine years ago. Wow. And you survived yeah, this long. No, I I was so I was so infuriated reading about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation and I was too. Back in and the bullshit 
the bu- absolute bullshit double standard. It's yeah. the double standard that pisses me off. That's what makes it's me a angry. double standard. And on top of that, on how the English and UK like journalism works compared. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that I that makes sense. And so, yeah, I have <laughs> one more, two, two more articles that I'm gonna read. Um, not on uh, on Tuesday. It's still Monday, right? Well, it's Tuesday now. Whatever. Today, that'll be that'll be in the afternoon today. <laughs> and then I've got another one on Thursday where I'm going to start looking at the actual the actual litigation that's gone on because I think it's important to kind of know uh, have like a little bit of a uh, little bit of the or yeah, going into that litigation because I feel like it's going to be a slog. I haven't I still haven't quite sorted out how to read it yet because it's UK stuff and I'm not as versed as I have sort of become can, with the American layout and system that I have. Can you send, send me the can you send me the documents just so I can look at them cuz I really love oh, highlighting yeah. shit and going through stuff. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Oh. So, All right guys, uh, with that, uh May or, I, I probably won't do much tomorrow either. So probably well, we'll back. later. Uh, down with the bunkers, fool. Uh, tomorrow, no. But I do have vegan atheist curls and NaNoWriMo streams. Oh, there so you if go. You're inter- interested in amateur writing? Uh, vegan atheist coral and I are doing the uh, National Write-In Month. Or and she's the uh, liaison for the Illinois chapter of Elsewhere, or Elsewhere chapter of Illinois, I should say, uh, which is basically everything that doesn't fall under her specific chapters. So she's, it's fun. It's they they do sprints and things like that where they are trying to come up with fifty thousand words in a month. That's, That's a lot. Their goal. It's, yes, that is right a lot. Now. Write a novel in a month, literally. All right. Good night, y'all. Go sub to Tiny Dancer. She got her Twitter out there. Thank you. (laughs) Good night. Good night, y'all. Bye. Good night.